If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. In this special edition episode from Austin, yeah. super special of Mind Pump, we uh, we just kind of do a recap, right, of Paleo FX. Getting so, fucking Paleo today. All the awesome people we met, the we event, our observations. Wild. What else did we talk about? Our favorite gyms we've ever worked out yeah. at. Getting into flow state. We got Taylor and Doug with us today. We yep. do. That was yeah. fun. Taylor and Doug were contributing. Nobody to wanted to interview with us episode. while we were here in Palo FX, so we had to interview Taylor and Doug. There's That's nobody right. here that wanted to hop on my <laughs> uh, Taylor, real quick. Hopefully, yes. it was, we got it was an event. We got an event coming up. Can West you Coast tell our tour. audience what's West Coast tour? What is this? We got we got uh we're doing a we're doing a we're doing podcast a thing. tour. Podcast tour. Who's podcast tour? Who's West first? Coast, Coast. Who's first? Vori clothing. Okay. okay. So now, is that going to be open for people to go? How how do even people get? Can anybody go? Or is that that private? You have to RSVP for the event. Oh, okay. So you have mm. to go to www.mindpumpmedia.com forward slash tour. Okay. Oh, wow. You have oh, to put the W. Yes. We're going to put that yes, in the show notes. The right, Doug? Yeah, absolutely. Check okay. out the show notes. So the show notes will have it because yeah. I know everyone. So select, go to the show notes. Select the city that you want to attend the okay. live event for. So if you're in Southern California, it'll be at the four. The Vuori Clothing Flagship, which is in Encinitas, a little little bit north of San Diego. Yep. And then um, the second event will be in Seattle on the 18th. So the first event is Thursday, May 10th, around 6.30ish. And the second um, live event will be in Seattle at the Mir Flagship on Friday the 18th at 6, six o'clock. Excellent. Now, now, is it going to be like a... So, obviously, it, we only have room for so many people. So, if somebody... It's limited. It's so, first, first, first come, first, come, first, come first serve, the capacity for you each You were ready venue. to say that, bro. I was <laughs> waiting. You were ready. <laughs> yeah. Was that your line? I, I'm going to finish, finish all your sentences free. <laughs> yeah. First come, first serve. You guys are taking too long. Let's get... <laughs> fuck, man. Let's do this. Get, the, get, go get into the episode already. <laughs> Sorry. They're hungry for it. Right. You know what I mean? I think we're going to limit it to probably like 100 people at each at each venue. 100 cool people. 100 cool people. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> thanks, yeah. Adam. Yeah. Well, I just want to let, I wanna let you hey, know. Hey, if, if you're you fucking, are, if you're a fucking nerd, <laughs> yeah. don't how, know are we, that. how are we going to determine that? Yeah. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. <laughs> Live Q and A um, at the at the Vori at the Vori flagship event. We're going to have um, some gift boxes to give away. There's going to be the the Mind Pump 25% discount code off of all apparel for the entire evening. And then um, at the Mirror event, uh, we're going to do Founder Story interview, open it up to Q&A, and then we have a very special product release at that event. Now, I feel like oh. I, I feel like you're trying to put like, like a little, style, like a supreme twist on no, Mind Pump absolutely here. Absolutely not. Let it, what is uh, the, no. I mean, is this going to be Adam like a- to reveal all. This, is, is <laughs> this going to be strategies. something that like you can only get? You can only get it. If you attend the event. Okay. Well, that's what I meant by this. Like okay. This kind of, mm. okay. Yeah, so okay. nobody else gets it. No. Right. Okay. We won't okay. sell it on the website. We won't give it away. And so. it's fucking so it's exclusive. It's fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And one more announcement today, right, Doug? Is yeah. This, this final is the day. final day mm-hmm. for the No BS six pack formula free. What you say? It's the final day. What you say? It's the last day. Final. There's no more days left wow. after this one. You got so, really loud there. I <laughs> that was very loud. <laughs> Thanks, you, Justin. Yeah, you're off today. You might have to turn that one down. <laughs> no one. more yeah. my Moscow. Ears are gone. No more mules for Justin. Stop! Oh, oh God. my God. <laughs> Blew my ears out. All right. So listen, final day to get the No BS six-pack formula for free. If you enroll today in any of our MAPS bundles, that's where we put several MAPS programs together and discount them 20 to 30% off, you'll get the No BS six-pack formula for free. Go to mindpumpmedia.com and sign up now if you want that program. Also, if you have any questions, you can go to that site. There's videos under e- each of the programs where you can le- learn more. Again, the site is mindpumpmedia.com. Yeah, dude, you're like, you're like Yanni, bro. Yeah, I have a picture. Look at this picture I have. Yeah. Yanni was this like synthesizer magi- uh, musician. Bro. No that was like kind of popular in the in like the eighties and nineties, and like never heard of him. Women in their forties really liked him. They thought he was really hot. I'm gonna blow your mind. Yeah, you be, you're being sarcastic right now. He's fu- <laughs> they're fucking with you, bro. What do you mean, Yanni, bro? You know who Yanni was? No, 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 no. Y a n n i. Watch. Let me show you guys something. Just Google it. Let me see. <laughs> did you make a picture of it? I did a long time ago. I never posted it because is that he's the so one? sensitive? 
The jabs, wow. the jabs begin already. Oh dude. My God. <laughs> wow. Well, that's no. One. I'm just considering him. He's my, he's my friend. <laughs> uh, it's one way to welcome Taylor to the podcast. Today. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same. Uh, it's the same. Shit. Hey, he won't. He same reason why he won't post pictures of me sleeping anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've learned my lesson. Yeah, I had to pull it down quick. Man, it's a uh, family time this weekend with us here. That's been nice, right? We're finally getting to sit down oh, and chill yeah. a little bit. What did you? What it's did been you? A great time here so far. What did you think about the response? Oh, yes. Oh, here we go. Who well, it? Oh See? my go. god! <laughs> <laughs> it is spot on. Am I lying? I told you, bro. Definitely, Yanni. I, oh, absolutely. You didn't. You didn't show me that. No. No. That's money right oh, there. No, you look you, good though. Look at you. you no, that's fine. Fierce. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He looks fierce. Uh, it's because yeah. I used a bad pick the first one. It was terrible. You're right. It yeah, was yeah. awful. Okay, it was I would bad. never post a photo of you like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I appreciate that. You know what? You know, I don't want to ruin that. Yeah. You, know, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, so that's why I didn't post good. it. Yeah. He just he just did like a mild threat to you. Do you it realize was. he did? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, I would uh, never <laughs> because I have a lot. I have a lot of photos. I picked up on it, dude. Very clear. Very clear. What did you what did you guys think of the of the event this year versus the the last well we almost didn't go man i know i we, know we almost didn't head over there we had what i think we have seven or eight interviews lined up and a lot of our friends are over there but it ended up working out to where we had so many interviews that i didn't, didn't know if we we're going to be able to have time to head over there and i think everybody felt yeah. like well whatever you know sure no i'm glad we went though yeah it was a good response there it, it seemed uh, i noticed bulletproof wasn't there yeah. Did you guys uh, see that? Am I tripping? No, there was I no presence it. at all. They had a huge pre- like last year didn't they have like an entire stage? That no, was yeah, theirs? that the whole back section where all the main speakers would speak was sponsored by Bulletproof and then they even had like their own booth with all the vibrating plates and they went all crazy yeah, last yeah. year. And, yeah, and and nothing. Nothing. I wonder how much that hurts. Is that because know. Bulletproof is doing are they well, doing their own you said? Yeah. Well, who do you think it hurts? You think it hurts the the Paleo FX or do you think it hurts Bulletproof. It's not her bulletproof. No, no, no. no that's no, what I mean. Effects, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I don't think it was Paleo that said we don't want you here. Well, no. do you think there was less? You th- I, I felt like there was just as many companies that were sponsoring things. I mean, I even noticed that the, the like some of the signs and stuff like that were sponsored by people. Like Ben Greenfield was sponsoring the mm-hmm. the little name tag things that we had. Oh, Did you okay. That? They're trying so, to monetize every piece of it. Yeah, that's what I think. I think that they're they're hustling and making all kinds of money on it for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah, but bulletproof. I was interesting that they weren't there. I thought that because they were they were like they've been a staple there forever. I think. I don't know about forever. I mean, this goes back to I mean Rob Wolf and the you know, forever's a long time, dude. <laughs> I don't know how old Paleo is. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, Pale- listen, Paleolithic's a long time. That's that's a long ago. time for sure. I mean, it was around the dinosaurs. The first Paleo convention. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Rocks. No, <laughs> what Rocks. I thought, uh, what I thought was cool was when Sal and oh, I went grunty. to L.A. last year. It was uh, so it was cool. We went without Justin. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> so much better. I well, mean, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you the yeah. difference. <laughs> <laughs> when when Sal the and- other guy didn't make it. You know what I mean, oh. dude? I'm so glad you made your name tag that. You know how many comments you got on that it was yeah. so great. Uh, <laughs> was, I was trying to be all like sly and like subtle about yeah. it, and everybody saw it. Oh, uh, no, 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 the response. But that, but that was the uh, what I was saying about going being in LA was that you guys didn't get a chance to see the response in. LA and that was the first time that we had gone somewhere and seen that kind of response and what I mean by that what I th- what I think has been really cool and what I've noticed is and I hate fucking saying fans and things like that because I don't feel like we have fans I think mm-hmm. we have people that we have impacted their lives you know, in a way that they want to let us know mm-hmm. and that shit's really it's cra- it's it's fulfilling on another level that mm-hmm. I didn't realize would be because I thought for sure here we are at a fitness expo in LA when Sal and I went and we got this line of people that are waiting to talk to us. I'm thinking I'm going to get, I'm like, you know, there's part of me, I'm not lying, or is thinking like I'm going to get all these macro questions and people are going to ask me a bunch of fitness stuff really, right? And it wasn't like that at all. You know, it was every almost everybody that was in line wanted to tell us how much we've helped them or share what's going on in their relationship and stuff like that. Dude, so, yesterday was yeah. was crazy. We were at the convention yesterday and we're, we're seeing all these people, we're seeing all these people that recognize us, we're having all these great conversations. On the way out, I turned around because Justin wasn't next to me anymore, and there, there was a. And of course, I'm not of course say her name or whatever. It was a young lady mm-hmm. talking to him, and she was crying. And I'm like, "What?" So I walk over there, and she she tells us that I mean, I guess she had some she had some health issues a long time ago, and she felt very alone. And mind pump, she said, was the thing that really helped her through the whole thing. 
and she was crying, and you know, we all got emotional listening yeah. to this. I mean, it was ins- it was crazy. I've never experienced anything. I've like never, things, things uh, yeah. And I know it's 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 funny because I kind of ran into her today, and it was, you know, she was a little bit like, oh, I'm sorry, I, I came, you know, forward with you know with that right away, but I was like, it was so real that like I didn't really know what to do. I just like hugged her and was like. It was so contagious. Like I told, I told you guys a long time ago. If somebody's like right next to me and crying. It affects me. Like oh, bro, you're gonna time, justify dude. it. That was a fucking. That I, was a cried. Yeah. I, I was crying. I was crying. I'm just gonna say it. I cried. Yeah. I cried that day. It was good. It was good and, for you. Uh, oh my god, it was like I, I, I'm like, what a pussy. Why is he? Crying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I kidding. Knew. No, it was, a, it was a powerful no, story. Dude, no, man, powerful. bro. Let me I tell just, you. I don't know. Like I've never heard somebody like if, if our words had 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 you know, got through to them like that, like impacted them in that way. Yeah. It, like, cause we're just talking and bullshitting to our, each other all the time. And we just, we just don't see these people that are listening. No, so. it feels like it's uh it feels like a, it's a, it's a responsibility. You know, I feel like we have a responsibility to make sure that what we say is helpful and accurate and that we stay true to what, you know, the reason why we started the show. So that's a scary thought. And I, when I hear that, well, yeah, well we can't, I mean, we're not, obviously nobody's perfect, but when, when you hear something like that, it's like, man, this is this is pretty crazy. Really yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was a it was a pretty cool feeling. Uh, yeah, that's definitely my favorite moment. Yeah, so far. Now, Taylor, I know you weren't very excited to go to Paleo Rush. Uh-huh. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> you, not my favorite event. No, you weren't feeling it whatsoever, dude. But what did you think about it? I mean, what, so far, it was cool. It was cool to see, you know, some of the some of the fans get to interact with you guys. I mean, that that's to me is is something that uh, is neat because you you. You know, you get to hear the podcast, and this is what I was talking about. There's a lot of parallels between music and podcasting, right? And this is where your fans get a chance to interact with you. Mm-hmm. Can we call them our friends? Your friends. <laughs> can, can we change it? Can we change it? How can we, how can we, we don't change like everything? Because I just don't. Because I, I, Does it I'm, feel weird? Well, it's not that it feels weird. It's that I'm not interested in having fans. Yeah, but I like friends. Okay, and I like people that I I, I like being around people that I like, and it, more than likely, if you listen to the show that Where are much, you buds. You know what I mean? Like the, you're listening, you're hanging out with us for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. People for like two years. Be like, Adam, give me your like, phone. We've been hanging out for two years. <laughs> we'll start, we'll start texting. <laughs> this is the first time I met you. Well, well, no, then I just say, well, we're not that close of friends yet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we're friends, right? Now. Yeah, yeah, right. We're not that close of friends. Yeah. yeah. No, I just I think fan seems. Uh, I know I what I mean. I know how you feel. It's it seems narcissistic to me. Mm-hmm. Because again, there, in my opinion, there, I don't think there's anything really uh, special about us that we we should have fans. But I think that it's cool that we have impacted lives in a positive way, and I dig the fuck out of that. But every one of those people that I've ever met that we've impacted lives, I now consider them a friend. So I would rather think of it like hang out with your friends or hang out with more friends and yeah. or whatever. But I the fans thing, I don't know. I just and I think it's the culture right now yeah. with everybody trying to be an influencer and yeah. be like a popular an influencer. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> like, influencer. <laughs> like, influencer. Hi. Like no that, that's not really my desired outcome. It's not to become an influencer. You know, it's I, I think we want to shed light on a lot of things and have some it's, fucking, it's an have some fun. Right. You know, and it's an important way. responsibility too, you know, because you know what you could say could impact somebody else. And so it's just I don't know, it's very fascinating. It's a uh, it's an interesting position to be in, but I don't know. I tell you, it's uh, it, this convention was. Here's something I'd like well, to say about well, the convention. I will say. I'll say this: it, all these health conventions, whether they're bodybuilding or fitness, we talked about this last time too. Bodybuilding or fitness or you know wellness or paleo or whatever. You have your people there who have really good information. Then you also have a lot of the f- bullshitters. It's not that different from the bodybuilding, not at all, fitness supplement industry. <clears throat> I mean. I, I mean, it, I don't think it's as much money, so you don't see them as as, mon- as many of the you know. No, you just you just bullshit. traded out water jugs and stringers for blue blockers and Jesus sandals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's, 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 that's the only that's the only fucking difference. But yeah. there was some there was some things they had there. camels though. That yeah. was oh yeah, there were yeah, camels. Yeah, yeah. There. But then there's some shoes. They're terrible. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Oh, She's like, it'll, it'll make you your real height. Yeah. And I was like, oh. If these guys look at Taylor and I, they're like, hey, you guys are the shoe guys. You guys should put them on. Like, this is exactly why we wouldn't put them on, dude. It's like <laughs> yeah. disrespectful to our Didn't feet. Want to it, was like, it was like right. regular ugly, shoes. The, the ugliest like pair of shoes I've ever seen. Inside of them. <laughs> you know? I was like, that is wow! What a terrible look, business. Let me make a, you shorter. Here, put these on. A lot of thought went into this, did it? Yeah. Well, no, there was there were other things too, like put on this metal thing and it's going to balance out your electrons and do all kinds of weird. 
And oh, oh, that pad. How, how, how about when, the pad? Uh, uh, about when Doug and Adam got in the, the oh, sauna. Yeah. <laughs> that was uncomfortable, by the way. <laughs> Maybe the highlight of the that day. That was the oh most intimate gosh. moment. Maybe the, the highlight of the day. No, I, got, I got to straddle shared. Adam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a beautiful yeah. moment. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go to strip clubs, oh, but we do yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. 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 I'm glad that they, were, they were so close that Adam had to whisper in his ear when he wanted to No, we were literally this close that if Doug was turned this way, I had to turn the other way because we like to hit lips and shit if we were to cross the other way. So I had to talk to him like this, yeah. like, "All right, Doug, we're out of here." Right? I wanted to keep, you know, taking pictures as long as I could to keep you guys in there, like together, <laughs> you know, just sweating it out. You know what I thought? I wanted was... to show like naked pictures to Adam so he accidentally gets a boner. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, I grew by two inches. <laughs> like, Doug's <"Dude, I'm> moving. <laughs> Doug said he grew by two He's inches. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, what about the vitamin? Uh, that vitamin shop company. Oh, that yeah. was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah, they were giving out free vitamin B12 and B5 shots. Which, if you have malabsorption issues, you'll, you'll notice. If you don't, you probably won't notice anything. So I don't get it. Does this does, does this company? First just, got a shot in the butt. Does this company just tra- travel yeah, around and time. they sell shots? Or like, I understand how does, how, do they, how. So I think what no. these places are is they're like oh, they're like. <laughs> did you guys just miss a high five? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I tried. I was like gonna high five. Him and then oh, I ghosted him. Ghosted. <laughs> I'm gonna remember I that one. Okay. So, so what these places? You're, you listen, you're in my environment now, buddy. <laughs> uh, you're a cool kid. You're a cool kid out there. So these, <laughs> these, <laughs> here. I'm not here. Right. In the real world. There we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk anymore. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead, gentlemen. Keep talking. <laughs> so was you never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it all about you guys. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going, hey, bro. I'm more interested in your story over there. I'm just. <laughs> I'm, just I'm going on strike. Yeah. I'm going on strike. I don't remember what I was talking about. B12. Oh, yeah. B12. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you know these places. Doug, Doug was the only one listening. I was listening. <laughs> Thank God we have Doug. That's what I do for a living. Yeah. I listen. They're, they're these intravenous, uh, where they give you intravenous vitamins and nutrients like L carnitine for fat mobilization or choline for your brain. I don't know how effective they are, so but they gave us free shots, which is pretty. I didn't even know what they put in mine. They just oh, <laughs> dropped your pants and they. Send it in. So back. Whoa. 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 Doug, Doug, Whoa. Doug, it's, Doug's being your, himself. That's your last that's drink. Crazy. That's your last drink. Cut sure, him off, Justin. Sure. So this what, is why we don't put I Doug love, on the podcast. All the time. I love it. What, what I'm interested in is we I want I'm, more. How how does a company like that? What, what I was asking was how do they make money? Uh, if you have to literally inject the shot into people, like what do you? They have clinics. I think they have clinics, or, or they can come to events and give them to people, and they charge money for them. So like, well, I, that's what I mean. What, are they just hustling just events? Because I can't imagine having a clinic that would that support. No, they it? have them. In they LA. have them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah. What do they like that? What do they like in LA? You just go in there and get like IV vitamins and shit. Yeah, so it's, mm. it's the same thing. But if you let's say you drink too much the night before, you want to oh, go get the, the IV. And, yeah. Was them too in then, Vegas huh? too? Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so have you actually seen them before? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. No shit. Now, now, did you guys feel anything from your shots? Nah, I didn't really. Not I did. <laughs> Doug said. <laughs> he Doug said he yeah, did. Yeah, felt good. My right cheek is. Still but then, a little right weird, before that, and I had that fat coffee. So I'm not sure if that was what was causing me to feel so energized. Oh, that was good. It's probably the caffeine. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I, I mean, I felt good the next day. Give me a nice little knot in my butt cheek. Well, I know. I know a lot right. of like. Um, Nurse guys and firefighters that <laughs> after they get drunk, it's to say nurse guys, nurses, nurse dudes. Is there a lot of nurse guys? Yeah. Well, I don't know any nurse nurses, girls, women that do this. I know guys that okay, okay. it's like oh, yeah. I so uh, okay. I know these guys that do this where they party hella hard and then they all hook up the next day and they're fucking good to roll. Oh my that God. does sound like a guy thing for sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, yeah, that's, yeah, I wanted to clarify like, that because dumb. Yes, yeah. di- guys do dumb shit like oh that. Oh my God, could you imagine? Yeah, it's really, I've heard of it a lot. Actually, yeah, it's, too, yeah, yeah. it's more common than you like think. You, like as if you needed something that would encourage yeah. you to, to go harder. That's not like Wolf of Wall Street stuff. Like that really or billions. They right? really Remember? yeah billions yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. They really do have companies that will do that. They'll yeah, just come, yeah. To I mean, your office. So I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I think you, what you'd be worried about is that someone would abuse it because they know that. But it would be nice to have that on hand. I mean, I'd love to sure. have. Her. No, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, would... I could see it becoming, like you said, an obsession or whatever, mm-hmm. or use it as a band aid all the time. Um, and there's a lot of placebo that can happen from some of those. If you don't need an IV, getting in one isn't going to do anything for you. Yeah, you know what I mean. So if you need one, that would. 
I mean, your wife's a nurse. Your wife's a nurse. Mm-hmm. She could hook you up all the time could. if you want to. She could be our own personal, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so hydrator, rehydrator. So you've never tried that, like after a crazy night of drinking, and then in the next day you feel hungover. <laughs> no, no man. Great. But now my wheels are spinning. You know, like, I never thought. Yeah, I want you to try it. I mean, if you get the wife at home that could do as well. I just want to hear. She's like a champion too of like doing the IV. I hate. I hate it because she's always like, "Oh, that's such a good vein." And she's like, "You, you, creepy, get away from me." You know what I mean? She's always looking at people's veins. Yeah, that's a funny nurse thing, dude. It is. I've got a bunch of nurses that follow me from back when I was doing all my bodybuilding pictures because I have all these vascular pictures and like fucking nurses all over the place. Like, oh, like oh, I can't. Like the kissy I, I emoji. Totally you know, I get that. the kissy yeah. emoji from all my nurses. Dude, how, I put, like uh, how, how that, and then like the dudes, right? Dudes like that, like, oh yeah, nice veins, Ooh, guys. Throbbing. And then, and yeah. then the nurses. <laughs> that's Being it. Super Amazing. Bastard. What about Paul? Paul Check, man. What a reception he got over there. Oh, dude, dude, he's killing He it. was surrounded by I came people up, all I the came time. I came up and kissed him on his bald dude, head from behind. Dude. I wish I would have saw that. <laughs> oh, nobody got it on film. I'm so <laughs> no, sad my, about my that. My favorite part is he's wearing these little tiny like runner shorts while he's doing this class. <laughs> yeah, they're like... And Adam, I mean, Adam commented on his shorts. I so said, Paul, yo, you wear the long ones today or what? <laughs> so Paul, he turns around and he hikes them up and gives himself a wedgie. Yeah. <laughs> like right both from, cheeks completely exposed yeah. for everybody. It was amazing. Just great, to- great glutes, by the way. To- oh, yeah. Very nice. And, and totally, very impressive. Glutes. Totally took what you did and took it to the next. Oh level. yeah, no, that's why he's so good. I can't, great. I can't wait to interview. He's him he, he's all over the place now. He seems to be everywhere. I remember we first had him on the show. Not a lot of people in our space that kind of knew who he was. Like the hardcore people were. Kyle knew who he was. Kyle Kingbury was a was a, a follower. I think took one of his courses. Yeah. But now he's like all over the place. What do you think the, the funniest moment was? Of this whole thing, yeah. Justin on the pole was pretty great. Dude. That was epic. <laughs> I don't know what that wasn't that. as funny. It was just there. No, you I'll, know? I'll tell you the funniest thing that happened. Okay, we walk in to Paleo. We're feeling <laughs> hyper. I hear Justin. And he's like, "Oh, a hacky sack!" And he walks over and goes to a booth, somebody's booth, and they had these like chairs, these big <laughs> like, <laughs> like beanbag type chairs. And he picked it up. He started hacky sacking it to the floor. Dude, you, that was the funniest. I was nervous because I was like embarrassed. I was like, "Oh my god, this dude just." <laughs> This guy, I mean, it's their, their little booth yeah, there. They're like, like, they're like, I'm legitimately sure you, displaying yeah, it. Like, if like, someone came and grabbed my shit and started kicking it around. Like, well, it wasn't until you guys explained, like, imagine you're there selling these <laughs> little beanbag things. Some guy just picks it up. <laughs> you were a piece of shit. What a dick. I was so you're embarrassed. Like, oh, I was man. like, oh, my God. Such dude. a dick move. We're here for five minutes. We're going to get in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, dude, I'm going to kick your chairs around. You're not going to do shit. It sounded like a great <laughs> bit in my head. I'm like, ah, oh, this will be funny. And yeah, nobody reined him in because we were filming you. The, the worst part is I was looking back like he was going to do something. He didn't do it. The camera's That's intimidating. Terrible. That's terrible. Yeah. It was bad. It was yeah. bad. It's a good one. This is what, is our fifth year, is it? Or fourth or fifth year going? <laughs> what, two? <laughs> no, no, no. Fifth or fourth, fifth or fifth time being here, excuse me, being in Austin. Oh, I was going to say. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, this no. is our second time at Paleo. Four, four. This is number four? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What a great town. Oh, I, bro. It's it's, I, it's I so think fun. it has to be my one of my favorite cities. Everybody's Maybe so my active, favorite. man. Yeah. And, and yeah, I just love the, the the energy here. I don't know what it is, but usually when you go out or just hang out, like there's there's always some riffraff, you know, going around. There's not a whole lot of that. <laughs> riffraff, you know? How many of old terms? A lot of riffraff yeah. out there. <laughs> yes. yeah. 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 A lot of scrim scram. <laughs> <They're out there. laughs> scrim <laughs> we were you know it's great you can't you could can walk downtown you could never have what is what is that sixth street or rainy street with oh, sixth street right you could never have a sixth street in san jose even though we have no. a sixth street we have a sixth street but our sixth street does not look like that sixth street <laughs> no. you know, so, no, like, our- people would knife each other and just <laughs> just weird shit dude just for no reason we're, we're selling the fuck out of san jose <laughs> San Jose is horrible. It's like all these sausages just, ah, just fighting each other. That's what Justin what, just, just, what just are said. What are you doing, Justin? <laughs> when people, when guys fight, you just picture sausages. <laughs> like, oh, it'd be cool if they were naked. <laughs> That'd be a cool fight. No, that's not what I'm thinking. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? He's like, sausage he's, party. He's, 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 like, he's had a sausage on the brain since this morning. <laughs> You're the one that started it. So <laughs> there, but I like all these sausages. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? But no, it's, it's a cool town. It's a uh, it's a really cool dude. The gym, uh, we got to give him a shout out. Big Tex. Big Tex, yeah. Is that the name of the gym? Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. That's the business. Uh, bro, right the, there. Uh, so there's, and this people who like are really into working out will understand this. Gyms, you know, you have equipment, you have like the lighting and the layout and all that stuff. And that's all important. 
But then there's also an energy or a vibe. A culture, dude. Like, a culture. And that vibe in there, man. And you know what? You know what? Dude, you, you made so you made a you made a point that you have to. I think you have to touch on that. I think it's important that people do not realize this. We've been uh, each of us have been around thousands of gyms, right? Between mm-hmm. all of us, mm-hmm. and you know, people are very intimidated by those gyms because there's heavy weight oh, getting yeah. clanged and, mm-hmm. and big muscles. Yeah, dudes taking their shirts off and fucking just death metal and yes. tattoos. And, and but then it's the it's craziest part is. You talk to one of those guys inside that gym about working out or nutrition. This night. They'll stop their workout to and talk. help you. Yes. I'm going to tell you something right now, 100%. Super nice. People. You go to your local freaking corporate gym, you name it, you know, Crunch, 24 Hour Fitness, whatever. And if you go in there and you need help or you're doing something wrong, wait and see how long it takes until someone comes and helps you. They won't. Mm-hmm. No one's going to help you. People are going to laugh at you or, or maybe don't do anything or whatever, but you're by yourself essentially. You go into a place like this that's hardcore. Those people treat it very seriously, but not in a bad way in the sense that if you're a beginner and you go in there and you're doing an exercise, people will help you out. If you have a question, they'll take their time to help you. Everybody's super friendly. Everyone's going to shake your hand. Hey, welcome to the gym. Sharing it's equipment, a, whatever. It's know, a great, yeah. great, great environment. But it's also got that like, like you want to work out hard um, in there. Yeah, there's know? nothing else to do but work out. That's what I love about it. You got rid of all the distractions and all the fluff. It's like, dude, if you're there, like, what are you doing? Dude, the old equipment that they had in there was so... Did you guys see the yeah. uh, the leg extension? Yeah. Why is the, it? The it Cobra sounds that's old as hell and it's rickety is like more appealing. You know? I don't... Maybe it's because... Well, I you don't know, know what? Well, you I know... Maybe what? because we grew up on equipment like that, maybe? Probably. Think? See, I think there's something about those... It's like grit. Almost yeah. all the machines and the pads for the benches and things like that are the best when they're broken in. I mean, it's hard leather... And when those things are like 30 years old and so like that, and they have cracks in them, yeah. so it's like shaped to the, your low back and your head. So it's like literally, you, uh, yeah, like that's, all what, contour I, that's what I love when yeah. I get into it. It's like, it's all, it's like a good pair of shoes that have been worn in really good or a pair of jeans. And you know, some badasses have been doing some, some, some that's shit. That's what I was going to say. Like yeah. You're following in the footsteps. Of that's badasses. what I was going to say. It's yeah. almost like the equipment has its own like spirits or history. And you're in there and you're looking at it and you're like, fuck, I wonder how many people. Yeah. Did you know leg extensions on this freaking 1984? I just think it's funny because it's a typical gym that an average female client that I know I've trained would be scared of. Would be scared but of. But that would be the best place to work, right? Out. Where she would actually be more accepted, probably help more and respected. Yeah, helped. I, I mean, mean, Taylor, you're somebody who already hates the gym, lit gym life as it is. <laughs> well, hold on a second. You've been <laughs> no, in a lot of gyms with us. How I was have. that environment compared to the others? I mean, because we're in there the filming and shit. In it, but it had a good culture. <laughs> it did have the same culture. <laughs> Look at the jab, bro. Look at the jab. You're you're on the mics for five minutes. You're already throwing uh, yeah. jabs. Yeah, I'm like, who? What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> no, it was cool. No, but you I mean, because because like, when we're in there, we're setting up cameras they and were, stuff. The, the owners were super nice, mm-hmm. super yeah. nice, and everybody was super hos- hospitable, and it was just you could feel it, and and that's part of the reason I never liked. You know, when I would go work out with Manny, you'd always want to go to Gold's. I'm like, bro, I can't go there. <laughs> I, can't get, yeah. I can't go there. You don't like the vibe there? No. Yeah. It's, not, it's, not, it's not welcoming. It's got it's just that like, pretentious vibe. Yeah, it's yeah. like, I, don't need, I already know, I already don't know what I'm doing. I don't need to like feel worse about you that. You know what, though? That's not, that's the difference between, because uh, Gold's is a serious gym too, typically. Not always. We went to another one that was seemed like a 24 fitness. It was very strange. Yeah, it was. But no. but Gold's is typically, if it's a serious, you know, pretty good one, you have a lot of bodybuilders that work out at Gold's typically. And the bodybuilding culture is different than powerlifting. Is different than the strength uh, athlete yeah. culture. Way more narcissistic. So is that a powerlifting gym? No, it's there's bodybuilders and stuff that work out there too, but it's definitely, I mean, it's got a freaking powerlifting, what is that, the hoist or whatever machine? And it's no, It'll be more known for powerlifting. Yeah, it's for sure. definitely, you know, you've got powerlifters and strength athletes you in see there. It, you, you saw like a little bit of everybody there. You saw yeah. like beginners and yeah. you saw the really advanced yep. people. Yep. Yeah. Everybody yep. blended in real nice. Yep. And if <laughs> student athletes, yeah, there was powerlifters, bodybuilders. Dude. It was a, a, a lot of people. I think it was just that they collectively had like, all those different cultures combined in Bro, one, but yeah, here's the definitely thing. Powerful. Here's the thing: if you're a strength athlete and you you walk around like you're a fucking badass, at some point you're gonna get buried by a squat or some dude's gonna outlift you. So your ego isn't as fucking. Yeah. You know, bodybuilders are little, can be a little different. You know about the way they look and it's about the show and all that stuff and it's a different vibe. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cool ones too though. Let's, yeah. be, let's be real. Yeah. Yeah, we work with one. That's cool. yeah. <laughs> one of them cuts your check every week. <laughs> 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 He's a no, cool it's you know what though it's true though it, it is i mean you're talking about a a sport that is based on your looks yeah i mean that's what it is it can't i mean it couldn't it's can't get more narcissistic than that yeah. right so it's rare that you find someone who's not and it's and so i i have empathy because i i know that i fell into it at a much older wiser part of my life 
where I could see it could consume people. And I, I watched it consume people. I can see people yeah. getting caught up in it. And, and so it does kind of drive, it feeds an ego. And so I can, I can get it. I understand and so, and I, th- I think a lot of them don't mean to be that way. I think yeah. they're so self indulged that you don't, ha- don't, you don't really pay attention. Where I feel like the, the powerlifting community, like if you're somebody who has well, just a strength world, they tend to encourage world. each other. Well, if you're somebody who's a badass, mm-hmm. like a bad badass in the strength world, right? It, you've worked for many, many years to get to up to that whatever that weight is. Your appreciation for the grind and the struggle and everything like that is a little bit different. It's different, and I yeah. think that seeing a new person come in and like just getting started and not knowing <laughs> what they're doing, like you want them to like yeah. to break through, and yeah. like you want them to know that like it's a long road. You know, I didn't just start lifting seven hundred pound yeah. deadlifts just yeah. yesterday, and you know, put it. Yeah. You know, I think that you get that kind of a vibe from a, a well, gym. That- you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like uh, the when I would do you know study Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You know, there's people definitely with big egos that would want to do jiu-jitsu because they want to be tough. They want to kick someone's ass. But you're humbled very quickly. Like, everybody's humbled in jiu-jitsu because at some point you get your ass kicked. And the way you get your ass kicked is you either give up, which is literally saying you beat me. Or if you have a really bad ego, you get your arm broken and you don't come back. Or you get put to sleep and you get embarrassed or something like that. So it's just your ego gets checked a lot. And instead of like... You know, when, when people are working out just for appearance, like it's like, you know, I look better than you and we're going to walk around. We're going to feel like in powerlifting or strength sports. It's subjective. Sports, yeah. With, yeah. With that, it's subjective. In strength you, sports, you either lift it or yeah, you don't. You're, you're either yeah. a strong motherfucker or you're not, yeah. where it's a lot of people acting like they're a badass. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter what you look like. Right. At all. Right. In fact, it's all about what you can do. It has nothing to do with what you look like. You can oh, yeah. look, in fact, if you looked awesome and you it. couldn't lift shit, they would, that would be And tough. so because of that, I think it, I think it fosters different it persons. It shows a lot. Yeah. It fosters yeah. different personalities. But that being said, I've definitely met plenty of really good fucking dudes. Yeah, that you got to say that's true. Yeah, no, there's some fucking... I mean, Ben Pekulski, a good buddy of ours. Yeah. I mean, you got a lot. I mean, and I know you like him. I like Arya. Yeah, Arya. Arya yeah. super cool. Yeah, another... Yeah. I mean, super, super cool guy. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. we, I th- I think yeah, we've definitely awesome. attached ourselves to guides, guys in that world that are really, really cool. What's, your fa- what's their favorite gym ever that you've ever worked out in, if you had to name one? <sighs> ever, ever? Ever, ever, that you've ever worked out in. Forever, ever? <laughs> that Reno, that Reno one's one of my favorite. That's, what I mean. that's your, that's one of your favorite gyms no. ever. Yeah, that's no. that's one of the first ones. Let it go. Trust you. Okay. That's one of the first ones that come to mind. With the what's it called? The Reno Athletic Club. Okay. Either that one. Oh, or, right. I really I like Ben. That. Pikul- that nice ben Pikulski's gym is legit. Ben's gym is definitely in the top for me. Yeah, definitely <sighs> in the top for me. But uh, number one is a tough one because I have a I have an affinity for. The old, uh, the old 24 Fitness on Parkmore, which used to be a Gold's Gym, only because I worked out there at a relatively young age, so I have a different attachment to it. Yeah. So it just kind of brings back, and it's got my favorite pullover machine, which you don't find <coughs> at a lot of places. And for whatever reason, I like that machine. Um, but I think today, I think the other day at the Big Tex one, that's got to be one of my. That's got to probably number one in Ben's gym. I would say is too very close though, because I love yeah. Ben's gym too. Ben's gym, if you want to go and you want to... Well, like, I would put those one, two, three, and I don't know how I'd order them. Or it'd be in the mood I'm in, right? Yeah. Because they they both would, they all feed different things. Yeah. Like the Reno one's a little more plush with the grass inside and the hill inside mm-hmm. and the section for powerlifting, if you want, or mm-hmm. a section for machine. I mean, it, I really like the whole layout mm-hmm. of it. One has a basketball court and all that, <clears throat> so that's kind of a tough... But if you caught me in the middle of prep and I'm like getting after oh, it... If I, have, if I have business to accomplish... Yeah, that I would know, rather I be get like... Somewhere. I want to be I'm somewhere. I'm going like to that. big techs. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. A t- that's the type of place that I want to be if I'm fucking... I want to be motivated by the environment completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In, fact, in fact, we didn't even say this. We were hungover as fuck that day. Yeah. yeah. When we were filming, and because we had drank a little bit too much the night before, Indeed. and the vibe of the gym made us all—we all decided, like, all right, let's just let's like, work ah, out. Forget it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're gonna go for this. it, and uh, you know, had a good workout. So, Taylor, you're a pretty athletic person. When you go to a gym, what are you attracted to in, in, in a gym? Like, what pulls you into a workout besides the women? What is, <laughs> yeah. Honestly, is it's like the way it looks. You, the aesthetics of the actual Absolute, gym, hundred percent. God, that hurts my heart. You like the kind of the club one vibe, or <laughs> like, like the, what, what's your what's like? Your I would speed? want to go to Equinox. Oh, oh Equinox. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See, you would like the Reno Athletic Club then. Mm. It's a little too yeah. posh for yeah. me. Well, that yeah. one's a lot. That's kind of bodybuilderish too, though. Well, oh, it's got, no, no, I like oh, no, the technology I know what you're talking about. Aspects of yeah. Equinox. Right? So, yeah, yeah, I like how forward they got thinking nice there. Have you been to Courtside in Los Gatos? I think I played. I I used to play basketball there. Yeah, so it's kind of like a resort. Kind of is that what you're looking for? No, I, I like Equinox. 
Okay. I, I haven't been I to wish one. The, I wish there was one like closer. They have one in Palo Alto, but it's kind of like, eh. Uh, really? Really? It's the members. Justin, what about you? What was your, what's been your favorite gym of all time? Um, I think hmm, it's between the Reno one. Um, since Adam, I, I remembered that one. I, I think, honestly, the the Big Tex one reminded me a lot of when I was in in high school because we you had, were saying that it was like almost identical, except it was like you take maybe like a quarter section of that gym, and then that was like my entire workout. Like growing up was like you know through high school, and then I would even come back and work out there. Um, when I went to college in Chicago mm -hmm. and I had this whole summer, you know, I would train with the high school team and we would just train in that same gym just cause it was like, it was just that thing where everybody just did their, did their work and did their workout and everybody was there and we, everybody was super motivated. I don't know. There's something about that. You know, when you have like iron and you have old equipment, oh, dude. it, I love that shit. So it, I'm gonna have to trump the Reno and go with the big techs. Yeah, it's you know it's funny because it, we all have emotional attachments to these gyms because I, I know I, I know how you guys will answer fast this question when you see metal plates like you know like uh, like 45s or whatever and there's a little they're, they're chipped and there's a little bit of rust on them. <laughs> yeah, tell me that shit doesn't get you excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is that? How no, weird no. is that? Yeah. And I knew they would answer the same way because oh, we yeah. saw plates like that over there and all of us were like, oh, oh yeah. my my favorite sound is the sound of. Multiple 45 jingling, Clang. jingling when you squat. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's got that body, that old school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you that's know so that. crazy that you guys would take like, take or gravitate towards that versus like just brand new equipment or yeah. just like the the baddest. Right, you're right. You know why? Right. Because Setup a workout like, is well, we 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 it's religious, bro. I think it is. A, I think it's a it's spiritual neat. experience. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Well, you also you also realize it's too that the us. stuff that the stuff that really works that gives you the biggest bang for the buck is the fucking dumbbells and that's the barbells. It. And so a great if you got and look at you and see how many culture. Do you see how many squat yeah. racks and deadlift platforms were inside that gym? Yeah, I was yeah. like eight. There must that have been what it was all about. Yeah, there must have been eight or nine of each all, throughout the whole entire gym. I mean, it was built sick to, ass logs to do the know, movements. The carry, they had the, like the, tires, uh, the like stones, cool shit. Yes, they had Atlas stones. Yeah. I mean, they had Atlas stones. They had farmer carry shit. They had a boxing. Dude, they ring even had a boxing like, ring. Yeah, if you can, yeah, it was cool. yeah very yep. cool. Yep, but no, it's it's I dug it a lot. Yeah, I don't it's want no TVs, right? I didn't see you see no. TVs, no, no TVs going no. on or nothing like that. Like, no, yeah, none of the bullshit. That, if I see you now, there's days when I'm in the spa mood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to get. <laughs> oh, nice, like, that spa. one in, uh, yeah. in Portland. Right. See, there's yeah. days where yeah, I, yeah. I'm in that. I can mood. appreciate all of them. Right. 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 Don't get right. me wrong. Yeah. But for for me, a workout. I've been doing. Remember, I've been doing this since I was 14 years old. Right. For me, it's a, it's almost like a spiritual experience. No joke. Like I'm in there and. I lose myself more and better in the gym working out than I do doing anything else. It's so meditative. It's oh, so yeah. time stands still. There's nothing like being connected to my body, feeling what it's doing, especially if I'm feeling especially strong or if I have a lot of energy. And it's just you literally I, I literally feel like I'm unstoppable. In fact, I remember, you know, when I was married and towards the end of my marriage when it was very difficult, like if I did a workout, I felt like, oh, I think we could Maybe you know we could have a good conversation. You know, you, 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 I just feel so good. I feel like I can handle anything. Is that like flow state for you? Definitely. I, I mean, it's not every time I work out, right. but definitely I'll, I can get into flow state when I'm when I'm in a good oh, training I, session. Oh, I hundred percent. And it's yes. such it's my favorite. It's one of my favorite feelings in the world. What are all the area? I know there's okay. So I I feel it um, on an occasion in workouts like that. Not all of them. I mean, it has to be. You have to really be in a rhythm. It's only for me. It's when everything's dialed in, right? I've been training consistently for a while. My nutrition is on point. Like I know it's like a great time for me to be lifting. I rested yeah. really well. Like everything's perfect. Yeah, and I've already thought about my workout coming in. Like, whew. then I put my favorite playlist on, and then I, I dip, I drop right in. Mm -hmm. I, to me, those those moments happen. They don't happen all the time, but I definitely experience those in weightlifting. I experience that in snowboarding. And I experienced that playing basketball. Those three things off the top of my head are the three main areas that I can connect with, like reading, stealing fire, rise of Superman, like mm. that feeling that they explain of flow mm. state. And it's, it's nuts when you, when you think about it, like, cause it, what the, the best thing I think in the book describes, it's like uh, the way time goes. Mm -hmm. It's a trip. It's you it all, you don't realize how much time has passed mm -hmm. because you're so deep into it. And I think that's one of the best ways to explain this because people always ask like, well, what does that feel like? Like what is exactly does it feel like? You're, it's like you become free from your own neurotic you become, thought process. Yeah, I think you that's become, what it is. You become so present in the moment that like time stops in well, a sense, dude. That's it, what I mean. You 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 literally are, it's relieving because you're you're you get relief from your own neurotic thought process. That mm -hmm. constant chatter in your mind 
shuts off and it feels fucking good. It feels great when that happens. Now, mm-hmm. now the gym, the gym for me can do that. Of course, if you, I mean, you get, you can't leave out making love. You make, if you make love, like real making mm-hmm. love, that's like mm-hmm. flow state. Like yeah, there's, that's, that's a great like, point. Like shit can explode all around you, right? You're in that. Oh, yeah. There's been times Lots when I've been. Shit th- <laughs> 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 <Yeah. sense. laughs> Sorry. Boom. <laughs> no, I, that's a great. That is yeah. true. That's a. Yeah. That's a very good. Again, timeless, right? Yep, I timeless. Mean, again, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, we had sex for an hour. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like she's I, like, know, no, ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It felt like an hour, though. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> maybe that's maybe really for you. Yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, no, I was, um, there was been times, too, when I've been with my kids and we'll be doing something. It happened in Yosemite when we were hiking or sometimes even sitting on the couch and watching a movie with them, and I'll, I'll have them both on either side of me, and I'll just look at them, and then you have, I have this overwhelming sense of like euphoria. That's like a, almost like a flow state, but a little bit different. Mm. So I've experienced that then. I've also experienced it racing uh, in my car. I used to drive really fast. Oh, yeah. Um, and I had a lot of tickets. How and- fast does a Jetta go? Oh, my gosh. I uh, knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> That's before. It's, I, I think it has a governor on 80, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> Feels S- fast. Sal at like 80 on the freeway, like flow state. Dude. <laughs> 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 can, we, can, we, can someone please get a picture of that? Like the, the Jetta dude, the fucking flow, hashtag flow state. <laughs> Your old bumper right. sticker. No, when I was a kid, dude. When I was a kid, I drive hella slow now. <laughs> now when I was a kid, I used to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. That, that dad speed is strong. No, that, that, those are good points. You know, yeah. it's, it's obviously. Uh, moments of like danger and things that you've practiced for a really long time right mm. so like that the snowboarding the wakeboarding the, the sports that like i've been hurt doing and you could definitely mm-hmm. get really hurt mm-hmm. and then you've gotten good at it because you've done it so much yep. that's when i feel like it happens like i don't think it's like just snowboarding in general happens for everybody i think somebody might do snowboarding and be it's over all- be overthinking sure. the whole process they're oh my god this is scary the snow's slippery oh my god I don't, my feet i can't turn them i don't know how to feel them you're thinking about all you're still distracted it's obviously a thought it's obviously a state of mind mm-hmm. it's, it's, oh. a, it's a state you know it's happened to me learning sometimes sometimes i'll read something and get so into it and get so consumed right that's a good that i'll example. be up for five six hours late at night and it's uh that happened when i, I when i first came up with maps anabolic which was, that was a very strange, I was up till, I don't know, three, four o'clock in the morning, just reading and reading and reading and reading and writing. And it was very strange. It's happened to me a couple times with that. So what about you, Justin? When do you as far as flow state goes? Yeah. yeah. When I used to play football, I, it was, it was one of those things like before game day, you get this, like this crazy, just butterfly feeling in your, in your stomach. And it's just like, it's the nerves and it's the, the realization that, things could go wrong, you know, things could always go wrong. And, and there's, there's definitely going to be impact and there's going to be things, you know, that could go for me or against me. And so I just loved placing myself in a physical state of like I uncertainty, like something could happen that was, you know, had dire impact. And so I had to react and like it, when I was in the game and in the moment and reacting and seeing like plays and how they formed and, you know, calling things out to everybody else, and and that was when I was dude. Like sports super. Did that happen to you last this last time you played when you were yes recently? Wow, I was gonna bring that up because even more so, like the most I've ever experienced in my life. Because you're aware of it now. Yeah, that definitely, definitely yeah. that, but also, like I didn't practice for it. Like we mm. didn't have any. Like I didn't even know I was gonna do it. Like I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. This is, this is sad. You know, <laughs> like, this is, like I'm a grown ass man, like a sad dad. Yeah, like what am I doing? Like, what, why? Why? Do, I don't really care. Like, like, I'm not trying to prove anything. We used to call them uh, CBKs when I was a yeah. kid. Yeah, yeah, comebback kids. When they used to if you were, if we, when we were in high school, <laughs> yeah, 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 like, like you're that guy that's always oh, like, bro, oh, always, dude, bro, I, was, I was the high yeah, school kid with, uh, when the kid, the other guy yeah. that we was, a we kid, won the championship. The 19 year old, the 20, yeah. the 21 year old, still coming back to our high school games. CBK, CBK, yeah. So that's the thing. It was all about this mission for Wally and and all these other like old kind of, it was like a has been kind of attitude and I didn't share it with them. Mm -hmm. I didn't share it with them the entire time, but I was like, fuck it. My friends are doing it. You know, and like they're doing this, they're going to be out there. Like, am I going to sit on the sidelines and watch him? Fuck that. I'm doing it. You know? So I just decided to do it. It was literally maybe three days before the game where I was just like, okay, I guess I'm going to practice. 
<laughs> so I went there. I was like, did you guys figure out any plays? <laughs> and they're like, well, we kind of have like a couple ideas. And like, we went to like pizza after that. And we're like trying to, <laughs> trying to figure it what out. What a great transition right there. You know? And I'm like, okay, what do you got? And like, we're figuring it out. And, and then the next day we practice again. And then like uh, our, our head coach who didn't want anything to do with this whole thing, like showed up like the, the day before the game. And he was like, you know, gave us this like little pep talk and he's like, I know, like you don't really think it's a good idea, but you know, I, I, I believe in you guys, love you guys, blah, blah, blah. And, we're, and I was just like, oh wow, this is so weird and trippy, you know. The, but, but, but were you like super like the day before, were you like, we're going to fucking do this or, or did it turn on right when you played? You know what I mean? Was it, were, were you going into this like, okay, whatever. And then it, I was lackadaisical still, like it didn't wow. hit me. Like it wasn't real until there's this one. So sports are very ritualistic, you know, and Adam can kind of back me up on this. So. Mm. Yeah. Why, why, why? <laughs> <laughs> and Taylor. Tell, tell me now we have Taylor. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, like, so there's this, there's this whole process. Like, which so, think about that for a second, yeah. unpack why they do that. It's part it's of, to put you in the fucking yes, state. Yes. 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 Yeah. It is, it is getting you like calming the mind down by doing something very ritualistic mm-hmm. before you go into yeah. a sport that you got to perform, that That's you right. could make a mistake, that you could hurt That's yourself. Right. It's like you turn yourself on like, yes, a, like a machine. Dude. It was literally like putting my it's, armor on in a sense, you know, I was like putting my socks a certain way I used to in high school, tying my shoes and then I worked my way up. You know, it's like, every piece you're you're like focusing on like oh they're this like and then i put this on and there's like the whole process and there's like don't fucking talk to me like that thing i had to like get in my own headspace like nobody could talk to me before a game that's just my thing and like the rest of the team they knew that and uh it was weird man i we went back and then we there's a spot like in the redwoods so uh where i went to school there's this like really cool um it, it's like a national park like behind us so there's like a whole trail and everything but we used to come like out of the woods into the field all like crazy maniacs <laughs> you know just so be like, awesome. like all barbaric and shit it's so or like, redneck however you want to say uh, it. Either, either way you want to find it either way you want to find it but so we would like go, so we went out there and we're just because we know the other team's already warming up on the field and we're like oh, we're gonna fuck these guys up oh yeah. my god oh yeah no it's like you know you say these things but you really have to like you know, you have get re- in that that space. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna get run over. It's like the kill the chicken space. Justin, the did you, space. it's the kill the chicken space. Yeah. I, got, I got the shark eyes. Did you have Did you have like uh, ri- school rivalries that you had like chants or nicknames or things that you gave you gave the other school and stuff that was like a hardcore rivalry between you and the high school? Do you remember? I can't say that. <laughs> oh, is it, <laughs> is it that? You can bad? say that on this podcast. Uh, it, we oh, had, yeah. We, we oh had, yeah. We had them, but ours wasn't that bad. We used to say well, uh, the pirates. So. Should I say this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no. Look, maybe I'll give you mine first, and if it's not as bad or is it worse, that's so okay. We, go ahead. You so first. Our, our rival school was Sonora High School, and we bro, it used to get so crazy. We used to do, uh, I mean, people would hide out. So they, there's one highway to get from their school to our school. It's like an hour and a half from each other. And you would know when all the all the all the buses were coming down to school, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and people, kids from our school would egg the fuck at all the buses as they come into town. Oh, so wow. you're, you're coming in to play us, and oh, there's a wow. there's a there's a, this this area where these oh, two dude, hills are, mm-hmm. and just I mean I you're, I'm, you're talking, talking about like fucking mm-hmm. to a point where it gets poli- it started to get police escorts because mm-hmm. wow yeah the bus drivers are getting scared because so many fucking eggs were hitting the that buses. Happened to us at Hollister, but not oh. like eggs, but yeah, we bro, got we used to we used to badly. burn our logo into their field, like so we would get our school and we take gas and we pour it on the fucking wow. on, on the grass so yeah. the next day it would burn you do the steal the mascot thing oh, and all, all, that. all this crazy shit but we used to say uh, Sonora were the were the men are men and so are the women oh. and, <laughs> and, Sora, and Sonora used to t- say that where Oakda- <laughs> Oak, Oakdale where the men are men and the sheep are nervous <laughs> the sheep are nervous <laughs> so we used to that was like the, those were like, uh, so you would go to these games dude we go to these yep. big games right and, and always police everywhere and stuff like that because there's times where the fans would rush the field or the court and the signs you'd have all the signs and shit like that it was crazy for when I went to school like that we were hardcore because we were a small yeah, we town yeah. and that was like that's all you had to do you know what I'm saying it was like you San Jose has a lot of high schools you don't right. really see that in San no, Jose no of course not no. you wouldn't see that well we were always underestimated because we're like the redneck hillbilly whatever nobody school that's like way in the mountains that like i mean we didn't have a lot of people that went to our school we were a small school but like we for some reason we just pull this ridiculous talent out of i don't even know where and everybody had like the most insane work ethic that's where we just dominated people because 
you know, there'd be like times where we would run hundred yard sprints and then the coach would be like, all right, you know, practice is over. And we would stay there until there was no light left, just oh, wow. running on, just on our own. We just decided mm. to do that. Wow. Thinking about how important that was to developing you as That's true. who you are today. Yeah. As far as work ethic and things like that. Like how important is that role that that happened to, in, in to your, in made your a huge impact? One right. of the, one of the most, one of the most important skills you can learn as a kid is that is to work hard, sacrifice and work hard. That will take you very, very, very far talent. There's so many people with, I'll tell you what, there's more people who, with no talent who work hard, who are very successful than there are people with a lot of talent who don't work hard, who are not successful. There's, Way fewer, uh, w- way fewer people with talent who don't work hard who, and, and, who are successful. Way fewer. Oh yeah, no, uh, hard, hard work is it, it trumps it all. Oh no, I, bl- I believe that hard work. W- there's a saying that goes with that: hard work beats talent. That talent that doesn't work hard, or what is that? How's that? Close. Uh, yeah, no, right. no, 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 I don't. Right. It was close, right? It was close. Right? Somebody will. We don't, don't worry. On, we don't somebody will correct anymore. me. Yeah. Plus, plus, <laughs> we're, look forward to the DMs <laughs> next week. Yeah. But it's also empowering. It's a growth mindset, you know. Because if you if talent is not a growth mindset, talent is like you're born with it. Like you like you know your your genes or whatever. Hard work is something that you control yourself. Yes, and it's and it's and it's it's a it's a growth mindset. It's literally how saying, much do you, and you how much do you guys think works. that exists, and how much do you think it's fair? Like, do you think that we all every do you do you believe this? Some people subscribe to this that every human has a talent or a capability to develop and be great at it, and just some people never do that. No, I don't think that. I think statistically, you, you can see that that's not true. But I do think this. Oh, you gotta say that. Why? What, <laughs> oh, oh, can't just say some shit like that. Like, no, 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 no. Statistically, be, it doesn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let, let's wait, wait. Back this up and fucking tell me. It's extremely statistic. rare. It's extremely, extremely rare. Well, yeah, but yeah, but what you're not factoring in with that is that it's rare because there's a lot of conditions that people grew up a certain way, mm. and they've been they've now constructed this thought process in their head, and they don't think about it the same way as you or I think about it, and so it looks like they have no talents because they don't develop or work work towards it. I think that's a I think that's a that's a it's a nice thought. Unfortunately, and here's the problem. And here's the problem when you. When you romanticize something to make it sound like everybody has an opportunity and it's not being genuine, it actually hurts people because then they believe, well, I worked really hard and why did I get in the NBA? Or I worked really hard and why am I not a famous, uh, you know? Uh, well, yeah, but okay. Again, I, th- I think I think what people think is that, and I'm not saying this, I'm not saying that anybody can work hard enough to develop a talent well, that they want. Well, I know what you're saying. Yeah, you think you, that there's a, some kind of a like, hidden I mean, talent. That, I'm, I'm sorry that's your fault that you worked towards the NBA and you had no business working towards that because yeah. your real talent lied in your ba- ability to yeah. public speak or your ability to change lives or your ability to whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I think when you look at when you look at uh, evolution and genetics, you, most uh, most people are going to be more similar than not. And very few people are going to be on the end. Outliers on both outliers. sides. Outliers. And, you know, the, the ones that are really at the outliers, we have combinations of talent and hard work. And that's where it's just, that's where crazy, ridiculous things well, happen. Well, this is why I always trip out that you're not a sports fan. Because mm-hmm. I think there's the best example and expression of that in professional sports. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is the, the exact, we are now at a place in science where we understand the human, even though we don't know it all, but we understand a lot about the human body. We understand about what body type should be playing the sport. And we now know if you start early, put the work in early on and work hard your whole life. And when that hits, when talent and genes hits that crazy hard work, we see these expressions of athletes like the LeBron James type mm-hmm. of players that it's just, it's unhuman life. You see almost. it. You see it in all, in all aspects, though. You don't just see it in sports. So, in, especially in all creative uh, uh, fields, you see any creative field. Pick anything out, whether it's uh, writing music or well, yeah, creating technology mm. or whatever. You have a few people that create most of the products. You have a few people that have most of the patents. There's a few people that have most of the art that sells for millions of dollars, or who write most of the, the award winning music. So that's what. You, so it's, there's a, there's a very small percentage. But I think my point with the with hard work is. Regardless of where you're at, hard, working hard and sacrificing would lead to a typically a better life. Well, more it'll, lead, and, and it'll more lead to growth, no matter what. And, yes, no matter what, yes. it'll lead to growth. It'll get you in the right mentality. You know, that's like, right. You'll be able to find that space, and it's something that is useful. You know, like it, depending on what you're doing. But yeah, you reminded me of music. I totally forgot about. Music is being one of my biggest influencers to get me into yeah, the you flow dummy. state. Why didn't you yeah. leave it? You have a guitar. <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guitar in our studio. Yeah. 
No, like I remember playing. And you totally get into flow. I mean, you're flowing even when there's not even a guitar there. I don't need anybody. <laughs> you know, it's just me, me and Lu- not Lucille, it's Veronica. <laughs> you named your guitar Veronica? Yeah, Veronica. Yeah. Why, why Veronica? Old Archie comics, remember that? Oh, yeah, is that, that why? Hot, uh, yeah. Oh, I brunette. love that. I love those. My <laughs> wife hates this, but. <laughs> <laughs> you and fucking Veronica. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to spend some time with Veronica downstairs. It'll be back, you know. Um, but yeah. I mean, I, I just like, there's something about it when, I mean, I had to, I had to teach myself how to play. Uh, I was, I, I had, I have some classical training in piano and then I just was like, I was bored. You know, I'm like, you can only play so much Mozart and, you know, <laughs> not try and go to sleep, but uh, I really enjoy classical music. I'm just kind of joking, but yeah, I, I decided that I wanted to play guitar and I'm like, okay, I just figured it out. And Later on, that led into me playing music with some guys when I went to college and, and you know, was actually in a band. And we <laughs> when we were on stage, it was like so surreal because you come up with something out of your own head and then you're playing it out in front of like a crowd of people. <laughs> and it's just like, oh, my God, it was like terrifying. Like the first time I did that was like I couldn't my hand cramped up. Like I had all this weird, like anxiety. Like I, I it was, oh, it was so strange. Like, cause the, the way that we opened up the show too, was like, were I was, you awful I was out there you by good? myself. No, I pulled it off. Like I, the first few notes was terrible. I was like, really? Kinker, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like I almost lost my pick and oh, God. I was fucked. But yeah, I, I pulled it together, but it was like, it was the same thing. It was that sports thing. I was like, pull it together, you know, like perform, you know, do this right. And, uh, after that, I was just like, oh, my God, I don't know what it is. Everybody like something about music when everybody has the same kind of directed energy. They're like throwing that same energy right back at you that you're throwing at them with this loud, obnoxious music. Bro, it, you're making music. You're harmon- harmonizing. It was like, I, mean, I don't know what it is, man. It's it's like a group. It's the energy is ridiculous. That's how I mean, you, you, you're connecting over something, you mm-hmm. know, external. That's pretty. That's pretty. So, yeah, I, pretty I totally cool. love that's that's one of my favorite favorite things and to experience is just to, to uh, I don't know, to, to, to like have people like getting into what you're doing on that level. Did you, when, because you self-taught guitar, when you play with people who are like taught like a fit, like, you know, by an instructor, mm-hmm. do they tell you you do it wrong or anything like that? Does it work like yeah, that? Yeah, bad habits. I have, yeah. And you know, what's cool is I've, I've, I know that about myself, you know, it's just like, it, it's very relatable to fitness where you're golf co- golf, golf, golf is too, right? yeah yeah i know golf speaking of golf that's we just start, frustrating listen if we start talking about golf taylor's oh, gonna be talking man. for an hour sorry yeah. <laughs> it's golf season yeah <laughs> we'll, we'll get to golf yeah for sure right, we'll, we'll get to that next but yeah it's the same like i actually decided that um you know maybe i should take some lessons maybe mm-hmm. i should should you know tweak some skills just mainly to give me an i like a whole new range that i can kind of work with and figure things out on my own because mm-hmm. i love i love like when new skills kind of open up new creativity yeah, and yeah so cool. like i've i've actually like uh i hired um mike the nine string uh guitarist oh, yeah, mike, yeah. mike gianelli i think his last name is sorry mike if i you know fuck that up but uh He's dude. I, I watch his Instagram all the time. He's just he just shreds. He's so good. Yeah, he's fire. I'm just like I just you know who he is. I'm right? in I awe. Know. Yeah, no, I met him. He's actually been in the studio a couple times. Oh, I, I, yeah, I've been there when Justin and him are practicing stuff. Oh, the, that's awesome. yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. That's so awesome. yes, dude. so he's teaching me some scales, and I'm just working on things slowly. But like, I just I'm so stoked that like you know he he takes time to to teach me some stuff. How cool was uh, Top Golf the other night? Huh? Yeah. How that is a that is a fascinating business idea. A it's, fascinating it's business idea. You, it was like pulling teeth to get you to go. Well, that's, oh, yeah. it's, it's it's golf. I didn't know what it was, and I was tired. Your but, swing got better. Yeah, well, as, I mean. As the know. drinks kept coming. Hey, I beat Adam in the first game. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> I, I, brought knew, this up, I knew I was never going to put this down. I'm like, oh, uh, dude. How weird is that? That's <laughs> right. He killed me in horse. I got to so stop saying that. Dude. I got to stop saying I'm the athletic guy. If I can't win a fucking game every time we play, I, was like, <laughs> oh, I can't shit. fucking say it. If I can't beat Sal one time. Taylor, okay. it's weird, right? Every time. <laughs> I remember. Do you remember when you nailed that shot in the studio? Yes. When Adam bet you the car? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. We have a lot of witnesses. Taylor was there. I forgot. You owe me a car, dude. It's coming. Don't worry. It's coming. We were 
I, I, I was would a, not forget that. I was anymore. halfway down the freaking entire studio, and we had this tiny <laughs> basketball hoop, <laughs> mini hoop, a mini hoop, hoop that you have over a door. Blew my mind. And I, I had like, like a little ball in my hand. Sank it. Just and, swish. Oh Kobe. yeah, Kobe. And Dude, I was like, if you make that, I'll buy you a car. It, it was a one. <laughs> it was a one in a one hundred thousand shot. Dude, I would give someone a hundred thousand shots again to try and make that. Yeah, it, it was that crazy. So epic. The ball in the and the first people didn't understand like it was not a basketball that was supposed to fit that. No, barely fit in the hole. It barely fit in the hole. And he must have been like a centimeter. He clearance. must have been 30 yards away from it. And if you guys have ever seen Sal throw, it's fucking crazy. But it so, works. Yeah, it's, it's very much like, obviously it's right. Much like a dart. Oh, my God. We went, we went crazy. But you know what's and cool push. about Top Golf that I thought was cool? So we were all, you know, terrible swings. And none of us are golfers. Except for Taylor. Taylor's, yeah. Taylor's all pretty. Taylor's got a sexy swing. That's for sure. Thank you. Yeah, it's You're very, welcome, Taylor. He takes himself seriously. Very, yeah, it's very, very. <laughs> you, were getting, yeah. you were getting some female eyes on you while you were doing that. Ooh. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah, when he swings his ponytail, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. I got I got a shot of Who him. Who can in, resist the whip back? I got a yeah. shot of him in his towel. I love when he gets his Jaquita <laughs> banana look going on. You know what I'm saying? Where he gets the towel right Bro, you gotta you gotta dry the mane. Do you bring out. Do you bring That's conditioner true. to like trips like this? You have to, right? Because yeah. you got thick ass hair. Yeah, you gotta make it. Does pretty. it take you a long time? It makes you t- must take longer to it, get everything ready and. Stuff? Hey, did I get out of the shower in five minutes? Did Dude, I make you, that? I didn't believe it, but you did. Thank you. Uh, it was I, I, I timed him. Well, <laughs> wow. I would. I, I shouldn't. Uh, do you? Aren't you supposed to like not wash it for so many days because the natural oils? It's better. I think like they say like don't wash it for a couple of days. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Let the oils build up. It looks shinier. My yeah. hair used to be. I used to have long hair. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Not this long. How long? Um, it was like yeah. down to here. Haven't you guys seen that? Wow. St- that, yeah. that like that Stallone picture I've, of him with no. his jeans and he has no shirt on. Oh his my God, I didn't recognize right. him in that picture that you sent in the group chat. Yeah, he's, he's a super beast. Which one was that? Remember oh, which one? You, I think that's a good look for yourself. I was heavy. Oh, yeah. I was you don't, heavy. You don't look the same yeah. at all. Yeah, no. Well, no. yeah, you're fif- almost forty pounds. I used, to, yeah, I used to get my body weight up to two twenty, two thirty. Yeah. Just through sheer will. Just a hoss. Like sheer food. Like you just look like a beefy hoss. Yeah. I'm like, why do I have gut issues? It's so I, weird. I, <laughs> I have no idea. I want to get him back there, dude. Yeah. Like, let's I, want, hold, I want old Let's hold the fuck out, dude. Let's do like That's a 40. Crazy. When we hit 40, let's do like a throwback, Hell dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not, I can't handle it anymore. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> uh-huh. I was so... Inc- when I hit it that way, you can just tell. I mean, anybody who's who's lifted to the point where you've... What's lift- the heaviest you've been? Have you been 240? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've been 240 naked, bone dry, first thing in the morning dieting. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've I've walked around probably. Dude, I saw you one time. I don't know if I ever told you this, but uh, when we were reconnecting, and I was trying to get you to get back to fitness. Actually, no, I lied. You were in, back in fitness getting into bodybuilding, and I saw you at Starbucks, and you were like the biggest I've ever seen you. You're just fucking monstrous, oh, dude. It got to the point where it got embarrassing. I got embarrassed because, you know, I mean, it, it's like at that point, I got once you get to a certain point where it's like, yeah, he's taking steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, like steroids, holy shit. steroids are cool to take until people know you're taking yeah, them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, yeah, it's so obvious. I remember being a trainer. I'll never forget like <laughs> training a client. And I'm like, I, was like, How this is, I, st- right I stand now? like this all the time. I stand with my hands on my hips a lot, like when I'm training over a client. <laughs> and I look up and I see myself in the mirror. And I've got fucking basketballs for shoulders. <laughs> like your dude. upper body was insane. Oh, it was crazy. Your back, and dude, I, oh shit. And I was like, I, I remember putting my hands down right away. I was like, oh my god. Everybody like, knows. Yeah, everybody <laughs> knows for sure. Like it instantly, like paranoia, like that after that. Like, oh, that's okay. I knew that. I knew at that point, it was. It was like. Okay. How funny is it though that you, that because I was I'm like you, like struggled for so long to try and like try and get big, and then when you finally figure out how to do it, it's so much easier. Yeah. Oh yeah, so much easier. Well, because again, and I and I shared this. It's what drove me originally to taking anabolics was I really believed. Just, I guarantee there's a motherfucker listening that's a young young buck. He thinks, oh, if I just take steroids, I'm gonna get huge. Yeah, well, yeah, or thinks that's that's what's keeping him from the from getting to that level. Like if you would have asked me at 23 years old if I knew what I was doing training wise and dieting wise, I would feel confidently say yes. You know, to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm teaching hundreds of people how to do train, and I know what the fuck I'm doing. You know, mm-hmm. so. I really did not believe that it was a lack of my program design and my nutrition and consistency with the two of those, mm-hmm. which it was absolutely those three things. The biggest three things that ever By changed far. was yep. the understanding the importance of consistency with, within nutrition and programming. Like, so it's not just con- just because consistency is important. Like, that's mm-hmm. your first step, right? You've got to show up on a consistent basis and plug away and plug away to see huge, drastic changes in the body. 
but it's also consistency with nutrition and consistency with your program. And knowing in the right kind of consistency. Yep. Yeah, like yeah. Like doing the right yeah, kind of shit. Yeah, so that, yeah. And, I, and I didn't know that when I first started taking uh, steroids because I thought it was literally that, that all these guys on magazines – that which they probably were too, but I still thought that, that was what that was the difference maker, mm-hmm. right? I mean, they probably most of them probably were on anabolic, so it's not saying that I was wrong about it, but I it was I was wrong about the reason. That was the only reason. Yeah, I thought yeah. that was the reasons why they could get into that kind or of or why shit. you couldn't. Yes, exactly. And so that was a a, yeah. a big like epiphany yeah. after I, I I used to get my body weight up to two. I got up to like two thirty eight at one point, but I wasn't lean. No, I was the same way. I just get big. I, I was heavy, yeah. but my legs would get so big it was insane. Like my legs were rubbed together so i'd have to walk like yeah like a duck like you know one leg you know Bro, that happened to the me other. too that that was when i was like 235 and it was over a summer where <laughs> what if we all met each other when we were i was yeah <laughs> yeah dude that'd be insane we'd be hella, hella bro oh. friends yeah. bro. <laughs> hella bro, like, bro bro hugging and drinking like protein shakes bro friends <laughs> we'd be hella bro friends dude think bro about it. friends that's something yeah. like, that sounds like an awesome cartoon yeah. right? <laughs> That's just, <laughs> just huge. Just yeah. we don't have fans. We yeah. have bro friends. <laughs> oh, whoa, we're on to something. I, uh, <laughs> I used to like every crotch of any jeans or like anything I own blew just, it out. It was with, gone. With your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say it, but you know. <laughs> Since you mentioned it, uh, now that you mentioned, yeah, <laughs> you, it's a very big subject. Let's get it on is, it, man. <laughs> it yeah, Dang. Uh, Taylor, did you ever work, you you, uh, you you ever lift weights on like super consistent basis? You've always done sports, but what about weights? Yeah, I got up to one eighty. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, push wow. one eighty. What do you weigh right now? Is that yeah. with or without the hair? Yeah. Oh, that was without the hair. Okay. But you maintain it's yourself. One eighty. You maintain <laughs> yourself pretty fit though because you stay active. No, he's healthy. Always active. Yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a He's an undercover. Rip guy. Yeah, no, it yeah, is. Yeah. It's true. He's what I'm actually going for. He's got the JT fit. You know, yeah, yeah. He's JT. that's what I'm going to go on that program. Tim, the Timberlake. Dude. I remember that. I remember I said that. But did you ever lift consistently? I did. My best friend. Um, that's how I met Adam. He's a personal trainer. And like one summer, I just that was like when business was going real good, and I just had a lot of free time. We just hang out, and he was just always working out. So like a byproduct of that, I just started lifting weights. And did you like it? It was, I got into it. I hated lifting weights. I never lifted weights. Okay. And then, and then eventually like I started liking it. And then I, I was like, I can kind of do this. It, the, the time in my life where I, I really lifted was when I was at the startup. Mm. And so like, I would just work. And then that was like the only kind of like release, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So that was probably like where I was my, mm. my biggest. Doug, you, you've been, you've been working out. You started at a young age, right? Yeah. I think around, well, just after the my dino- brother just was the dinosaurs, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, cur- no, no, no. It was, the, it was the cavemen. Okay, it was the cavemen. Curly dinosaurs brontosaurus, had already died. Brontosaurus right. bones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right no, after no. the asteroid impact. No, my brother is six years older than I am, and he was into weights, and so we had some of those like Sears Roebuck cement plates, you oh, know, yeah, covered the- in plastic yes. at our house, yes. and with a bench, this. one of those narrow benches where it has the, the two posts and you put the weights on there but if you take weights off one end the thing so will flip you off have to, you have to do both deal. ends yeah at the same exactly time. so <laughs> i started probably when i was in you know nine years old or something starting uh, you know just playing around with it really nine years some, old but not consistently sure okay, okay not consistently so then um i think i think around 16 or 17 i started to get into it i think i told this story before is rocky three came out mm. and stallone was so impressive in that I mean, he to me that was the ideal physique, because he wasn't like super massive, but he was like ripped and super symmetrical, and he had wide that's shoulders. That's the one where he fights Mr. T. Yeah, I was Remember he say, goes, yeah, it's not the Russian. He goes and trains. That's Rocky Four. No, no, Rocky Four. He's big. Rocky, Rocky Four is my favorite. Four is the Russian. Yeah, yeah. Rocky Three. He trains. Uh, he goes to Apollo Creed's uh, uh, gym to learn how to how to dance and move. It's the same one that he wrestle. He fights uh, Hulk Hogan that's too. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, so, so yeah. I felt like he got too big for Rocky IV for mm-hmm. me. Oh. I didn't want to be that big, but I thought Rocky III was the ideal, and I thought I thought I could do that right if I just started working out. So I subscribed to mu- Muscle and Fitness. I my dad was actually interested in in working out as well, just not to become a bodybuilder or anything, but just for his health. So he bought my brother and me uh, a membership to this club. And I started to go down there with my buddy. And, we and this were, is what, 1980, like four or five? Uh, no, before that. Maybe okay. 19, probably, no, 
Probably 1982 or so. Okay, now yeah. and this is in in Washington, right? I'm what is the gym like? What is the gym like in 1980, whatever, two or whatever? Uh, the one I went to was actually one of these kind of big box type gyms that we got set up with, like a 24 or something like that. Yeah. They had racquetball courts. That yeah. was the thing back then. Yeah, that was the jam back then. Yeah, yeah 70s and 80s, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. we got a lifetime membership. Of course, the gym no longer exists. They <laughs> used to do that. You didn't know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Did oh, you, yeah. Did you get? Did you uh, get a? Ra- did you play racquetball? I did. Oh, I love I racquetball. It. Yeah, so it was we, fun. we got to play racquetball. Yeah, we got to do that. Yeah. Did yeah. you know they used to do that I'm back in, back in the 70s and 80s? They used to sell lifetime memberships and these gyms would open up and then they close and then states started making laws against that. So do you know why 24 Hour Fitness charges $49 a year renewal after a prepay? Because of those laws. Because before uh, that, you would pay $1,000 and have a lifetime membership yeah. and then they said, no, you can't do that. You have to keep, you know, you have to keep charging people so they did that instead. Oh, How crazy is that? Uh-huh. No, that's, that's really crazy. But I think it's more because now it's not that you get to charge them more. No, what I mean is they couldn't do lifetime membership. So a prepay became yeah, yeah. prepay and have a super cheap right, renewal. Right, 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 right. Which is one of the greatest well, hustles. I know. What was, so what was hustle. the gym like? What did they look like back then? Was it? The, the, I mean, it doesn't look too much different from what they look like now. Well, you, didn't have, you didn't have plate-loaded equipment. Hammer strength didn't exist back then. Uh, No, but I think there were some maybe Nautilus. Nautilus, probably. Probably some Nautilus there. Definitely some free weights. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had the basketball court. They had the racquetball. Wow, so you started they off had in a track. Good Oh, so you yeah. had a good gym right away. It was a good, tr- a good gym. So I had a buddy, and he and I both were like serious about this whole thing. So I did. I got my muscle and fitness subscription, and I'd take a look at these workouts that these guys were doing. I can't remember who was big back then. Who who are the big bodybuilders back then? in the early nineteen eighties? Lee Haney. Lee Haney. Lee Haney. That's S- right. Sam Urbano. Lee Haney. Bit, yeah. So I figured, well, you know. What workout am I going to do? I'm going to choose the biggest guy there because obviously <laughs> he knows what he's doing yeah, yeah, right. and I'm going to do his workout because it worked. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And so I started following these workouts. I work out hard. I mean, I got to the point sometimes where I was about ready to throw up. And I, <laughs> I felt like, man, I'm doing the right thing. And like we talked about it before, it's like I was doing forced reps every set. Yep, yep. Bench, forced reps. Oh, yeah. You know, you can do one more. Just do one more. You know how common that is though? Oh, yeah. That oh, is so common. That is very- Especially very- when you're a kid and you just want to yeah. build muscle. Yeah, you think it's a it's a thing you got to yeah. work hard. You try harder. Yeah. Do you, you know guys, what I'm saying? The difference between me and him is that he tries a lot harder than me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, Do you guys remember the first supplement you bought? Oh, I was another thing I was into. I was always into supplements. My grandmother used to get Prevention Magazine. And I don't know if you remember the old Prevention Magazine. It do. was just full of supplements. I and do. they looked so cool. Like they would do these amazing things. And I was like eight years old looking at that magazine thinking it was the coolest thing. And I wanted to buy those supplements. So you were brainwashed by the time oh, you could man. afford to buy them, you were in. So, yeah. So, now I start working out, wanting to build muscle. I think you talked about, what is it? Cyber, cybergenics? Cybergenics. Cybergenics. Yeah. I bought it. Of course you so did. I bought it. <laughs> I bought all these things. I, I don't remember all the names of them, but I spent a lot of money. And, you know, I didn't always have a lot of money. Dang. But you I get- spent it, what I had, because I thought that would be the next secret thing to always. take me to the next level. Oh, yeah. And I was always so disappointed after taking it, just like every morning looking at the mirror and going, oh, nothing happened. <sighs> yeah, I, I think cell tech was my- Was that your first? Mm-hmm. First was cell tech? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm pretty sure that was the first thing that we- uh, Well, you And you felt that because it has creatine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. so you probably blew yourself away. Well, and it was loaded full of sugar and I was a kid. Seventy five yeah. grams yeah, of per, dextrose. Yeah, per, yeah, <laughs> was, per yeah, scoop and mass like gainer. Two. That was that was the first one. Was that Cell Tech? Mass gainer? Mass gainer was uh, I'm trying to think. Mass Twin Lab had it might have been Twin Lab. Yeah, and mass gainer and I had creatine, like raw creatine. Mm-hmm. So you know I what's funny though? That in, I put <coughs> peanut butter on top of it and made a, a fart concoction. No. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was my first brutal. supplement was a weeder uh, protein powder. It came in a tube canister. Remember those? The tube canisters before they started making the big jugs. And it was uh, Weeder's Muscle Builder, it was called. And it had a picture. The Weeder supplements. Flexing yes. Front like this. Him with his yeah. arms crossed. Yeah, you remember, I remember that? that. I remember Looking that. all jacked yeah. with his mustache. Yep. And I'd be like, oh, I'm going to look like that, dude. <laughs> I seriously thought I was going to look like that. And oh I, my I'd God. make you this need shit. a mustache. And what I would do is I'd take a scoop of that, I'd mix it in milk, and they'd drink it. And it was seven grams of protein. You know, it was a seven gram protein. Yeah. So you guys good. all wanted to look like real big at one point. I wanted like that was the goal. Yeah. Oh, dude, if you if yeah, you could if I if I could have looked like a Mr. Olympia, I would have. That would that would have been that would have been amazing. Wow. Well, you, Which I, I now I could never I would never want to not even close. But back then, oh yeah, no for sure. I you know what I don't know if I ever aspired to be as big as bodybuilder guys. I mm-hmm. wouldn't say that. 
But I definitely, I'll tell you what, mine's more rooted like uh, with the insecurities of being a skinny guy and and like just getting into girls. So I remember like being a teenage boy and getting into girls. And the only thing I really got teased about was being skinny. And so that affected me psychologically because it's my lo- the way I look. And mm-hmm. so I wanted to lift weights just to be bigger. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, yeah. be, I didn't, I didn't like aspire to, I didn't, that's why I didn't follow bodybuilders. Like all the stuff that Sal talks about, mm-hmm. which is ironic, right? Because I'm the one that actually competed. So everyone always talks to me. Like I would love to talk bodybuilder talk. talking to me. Like I give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know it, I, I feel bad because they, they will, people will send me stuff that I'm just like, yeah, it's not my jam. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I know cool I can compete. Story. Yeah. yeah. I, I never was into it like that. I wanted to be big enough that the chicks thought I looked hot because I was <laughs> one of the buff guys, you know, yeah. I could take my shirt off and look good. You Do you know? remember so, the yeah, first time? Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was just, I was just super competitive and, and like I, we'd work, have these workouts where you're in a certain weight class, like category. So mm-hmm. like, I would, I found that out real quick that I was stronger than like the weight class that they put me in. And so uh, I was like, well, that means I have to be in with all these big, huge fat guys, you know? And like, I, so I ended up working out with the biggest guys and it just became this obsession. Like I just want to be stronger than all these guys. Mm. And so it was just like, it would compile off of that. It was like, I had to be like, I wanted to be like the strongest guy in the gym, you know, in comparison to these other. And I found out later you know, it's like mass does matter, you yeah. know, at a certain point. But like at that level, like I was, I was like, oh yeah, I was like addictive. Strong. Yeah. I remember, I remember that because I worked out. So 14, I started lifting weights. It took years before anybody noticed that I lifted weights <laughs> because I was a young kid. I was skinny and I gained, you know, I gained a little bit of weight, but you kind of do anyway when you go. 14, Isn't it 15, great 16. though when you're, I, so I, I gotta, I gotta sell our boy out and he listens, right? Hopefully Drew hears this. Ah. So oh, I was yeah, so yeah. pumped for him the other day. So, cause I remember. He's being, making them gains. Well, I remember he's right around the same age and there's a lot of similarities in his personality is mine. And so I, 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 I totally connected with it when he did it. And I just, I died inside, but not like laughing at him. Just like, oh my God, that it reminded me of myself. I probably would have done some shit like this. And so he walks in the gym and he's been following maps like to a T. Like he's been, he's anabolic, right? Yeah, bro. He's, he, he look, how much weight does he put? Well, on? Listen, he's cal- okay. he's calculating everything and Perfect. like, yeah, no, he's tracking everything to a T. And, and for the listeners, Drew is Taylor's younger brother. And he does our, a lot of our video editing. Yeah, yeah. So everyone's, everyone, I he's think, how old is he? 20? 19. 19. 19. 19. 19. And so he's been sending me stuff like crazy and he's getting on the diet and he's doing all this stuff. And, and I'm like, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with his consistency with it. And he's now starting to see, the strength numbers come up. I mean, he's deadlifting 250 pounds now already, and he's tiny. You know what I'm saying? He's a little guy, yeah, right? Yeah. And so, you know, he's starting to see it, like, already affect and change his body in the short amount of time he's, he's doing it. And I remember that when I didn't really care that much about lifting. But then, then I, you see it. And then you see the way it starts to change your body, and you're like, well, this is kind of this is kind of cool. You know? And then the first cute girl goes like, Hey, you've, you've been, you know, touches your arm or <laughs> makes a comment or you look bigger than all the other boys when you take off your shirt in the pool or whatever that yeah. first. Yeah. So he had that kind of glow about him when he come walking in <laughs> and, uh, I, so of course I say, oh, I, you're I, just I, him out hard so right I, now, I, right? I, comp- I complimented him right away. I said, Hey dude, you're, uh, you're looking fucking good, man. And he, without hesitation, ripped his shirt right off, <laughs> right off, dude. And gave me like the post. I'm like, dude, look it, look it, look it. It was so great. Look what's uh, happening here, dude? Yeah. Check this out. I was it's like, so oh. awesome. Yeah, like so uh, good. For I him, totally man. remember that feeling though. That's <laughs> oh, awesome. Dude, Don't you, bro? Yes. It took me. It took me. You know, 14, 15, 16 is the first time I can remember when somebody actually noticed. And I was at the. It was in high school. And it was hot outside, and so I took off my T-shirt, and of course, underneath, I had on my wife beater. Wife beater. Which, <laughs> I could definitely finish that. Which, yeah. <laughs> which, by the way, I've been working out and wife beater since day one. That's the that's the original believe, workout. Nineteen seventy two. Nobody's same, disputing that. And it's the same. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't have to convince. Yeah, us. yeah, yeah. You don't sell that. He one. was telling me that earlier. I'm like, yeah. bro, I know. I was wearing it back yeah, then too. Yeah. I used to wear. Him, I used to wear them to the gym all the time. Yeah, <laughs> just, just as I. Like we know that style existed back then. <laughs> but I'm in the classroom and I, I walk in and just my tank top and a girl and two girls came up to me and they're like, what? They're like, we didn't know you were so buffed. It was the first time oh, I'd ever heard that. That's it, was, it, bro. Yeah, yeah, right away. I was like, dude. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Best so, feeling ever. For life right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Forever that it's impacted. Oh, yeah. First time I, I, I remember like when after I was doing the morning workouts and everything with the team and, you know, I was, I was a skinny kid too, you know, for a while. And I played basketball in the off season. And so... I was playing basketball and then I was always self-conscious to take my shirt off, you know? And so we had to play shirt skins, you know, and that thing. And so I just took my shirt off and it was shirt skins. 
and some of the cheerleaders came in and they were like, and then they mid track, they just went and sat down on the bench and they all were pointing at me. Oh my God. And I was like, what? Oh, like, what's going on? You know? <laughs> and, then, and then after we were done, Don't lie, bro. You're like, yeah, I know no, I didn't know if it was good or bad. <laughs> I thought, like, I, I was like, they might, they might be making fun of me or something, you know? And then she's like, Oh my God. Like, like, look at your arms. And like, they're talking about my arms and all this stuff. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> that's what you guys are talking about hey yeah. it was it was addictive after that for yeah sure. once you get when you get attention for it, it that's you know, what it's all about the funny part is that we're all connected in a sense right with some sort of health and fitness but i really don't even think that's the biggest thing that connects us and i'm sure most people think it is because obviously we're a fucking fitness and health podcast first but i think that where we're the most connected is uh, where our our growth, where we are growth wise, as far as uh, wanting to grow personally, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, and and then the entrepreneurship yep, side. Yep. So I think that's what bonds everybody the most and makes it work so well. Because mm-hmm. if I think we were just all into health and fitness, no. you know, even if we're smart guys, funny guys, all this mm-hmm. stuff like that in that mm-hmm. space, that wouldn't be enough. You just be your average podcast. Right, right. Like yeah. Everybody right. else we've been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Give him another drink. Give him another drink, dude. I'm Real just, suit here. Man. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Justin, not you kidding. have been on fire Not this at all. Entire, <laughs> this entire trip. Uh, it's Austin, man. Bro, I'm going to taste. fun. Bro. <laughs> When we were when we had the podcast with Mike with Bledsoe, yes, and ju- you were just Justin, you were fire, bro. You were. You were I don't know. I think it was you were like fucking with him or something. I just I had a little edge. I don't know he, the way that he kind of came in the room. It kind of set me off. I don't know. It was just I, weird. What was that? It was just weird. I didn't know what to he do. Didn't say any words. For it was five like minutes. it was like a reaction to that. I was just like, oh, yeah, well, like I got to do something about this. Like, yeah. Let's, yeah. So we all kind of, I think we all picked up on that. Like, let's, let's do something with this. Make it entertaining or something. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. I still, you know, I I can't fully co-sign him yet, man. I just can't. Like, yeah. just it, the, there's we meet a lot of people in the space. A lot of cool people, you know. But like th- then there's like the MP family or the people that like I'm texting and talking to that I really have hit. We've yeah. connected with, we've interviewed, and I just really like them. So speaking of people like that, who's a, a new person, like I feel like in the Mind Pump family is Max Lugavere. Oh, fucking uh, love him, dude! What and, and, and what a great fan! We, we all felt that way guy. already. Yeah. And then last night when we're at Top Golf, oh, what a great time! What, what set it off for me, and this is what I loved was. He got up. We were, we were, we'd already been at Top Golf. We're drinking. We're, we're hitting. We're terrible, right? And none of us can, except for Taylor Golf. So we are telling, yeah. terrible on all levels, right? And we're just making fun of each other and just having a good time. And up walks Max. And I think I was the one who was just shooting last. And then uh, Sal's like, come on, get up there. And he fucking had the balls to get up there in front of us. We're all sitting, taking pictures, videoing him and shit like that. And you could tell that motherfucker had never touched a club in his life before. (laughs) For sure. 100%. And the fact that he put himself out there like that and then, and just had like super cool. Oh, it was right. And and, and we were laughing. I love that. He does that. Well, and I saw there was a moment there for a minute where I think he was wondering like, are these dudes laughing at me? Are they being fucking dicks? Are they being cool about it? We're just having a good time. And I think he, he, when he saw the story and how shitty we all, when you saw that we all fuck and, with each other yeah right. right I think that it, he made that connection he's like dude that's really cool And I, but the fact that he would bro he's do my that, brother from another mother dude it's good so dude. funny good, good. no like There's literally so many similarities like, yes, he, he gets, the, he gets oh, the co-sign for sure you know what yeah, I'm saying like, no, that's good, good good dude man. Max is a very very smart dude very very cool guy very real guy so and so, is Ru- and so is Ruscio. Ruscio, great, yeah, great dude. I, I always I love coming down here with that guy. That dude, let me tell you, bro. <laughs> this motherfucker, he's like an energizer bunny, bro. <laughs> he I was, has I was a like, lot of energy. Yeah. Yes. You know what he, re- he reminds me of me and my friends when we were like 25, dude. Yeah. You know what it is? He's a doctor, bro. When you find a doctor who's uh. in their 30s, They've been studying and busting their ass for so long when they finally start yes. to work. He's yeah. made They're it. like 20 years old. Yeah, then right. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you throw in the fact, remember Absolutely. we were talking, we were walking last night, I'm like, and he's buff and good looking, dude. And, yeah. yo, and he's a doctor. On. Oh, yeah. yeah game over. Yeah. What was he? He was talking about, we were all walking. He's talking piano. About, yes. <laughs> he's talking about like how he serenades women and stuff like that. I'm That's like, right. bro, I don't know why. You don't have to fucking do that. Like, yeah, why even do that? You're a fucking smart ass doctor that's buff. Like, how many of those do you run into? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's game over, bro. What more tools do you piano? need? Oh, like now yeah. you're just fighting dirty now, dude. <laughs> Get out of here with that, bro. Come on, man. Yeah. Uh, he's an animal. Hi, dude. I'm a doctor. Yeah. And then we get, you know who showed up this year, which is great. Ben Pakolsky came down. Yep. So Ben's Ben's so funny dude, right ben now. Ben is so he is so opposite of what he was 
seven years ago. It's crazy. Dude, he, t- oh, he yeah. was embracing the whole paleo esque. What was he doing? Party. He had his he shoes off in. and socks off. He was doing Paul's, uh, to, he was doing checks, oh, yeah. uh, course or whatever. Oh, that was doing so some great. primal movement there yeah, on yeah, the ground. Yeah. And I love, stuff. I love, I love him. Right, yeah. right. Another great guy like that, dude. Yeah, yeah. Really, really good people. We saw Christina here. She's always awesome. She's little, part of the family. Little fireball. Yeah. Little fireball. Yeah. Little sister. Always talking shit. Man. Yeah. Always talking. Every <laughs> single time. Yeah. Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> Who else do we run into that we like run into? A lot Kyle. Of? Oh, of course, Kyle. Yeah. Barefoot. Yeah. Did you just, <laughs> just fuss around Give for big hugs and Only, you know strange the, goodbyes. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the cup check, Kyle. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. That yeah, was yeah. hilarious, dude. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle's a good guy, though. Yeah, we all love Kyle. Well, yeah. we're with him. Love him. We're, we'll be with him tomorrow, so that'll be good. Paul, right? Fucking Paul is so awesome. Yeah, we saw Walt, Rob. Rob Walt. Oh, yeah. We saw Rob in the back. Bathroom. Yeah. So I run while he's taking uh, a piss. Right? Yeah, so <laughs> I'm literally so Rob is peeing at the urinal, and I and I know I recognize him because I saw him speaking right earlier the day, and he I'm behind him, and I'm waiting for him to turn around, and I'm turning around, and I'm going to use the urinal that he's just finishing in, and I'm like, hey, what's up, dude? And there's this moment where I have my my hands up, and it's like, wait a second, what do we do here? Yeah, <laughs> we you can't go. His dick. Yeah, you were just we're, we're the in the men's bathroom where we shouldn't do a hug right here. That's not right. He just like, was grabbing his dick. <laughs> yeah, shakes that right here. I was like, hey, what's up? How do we handle this? Yeah, we just both kind of did this, like, uh, let me in. He walked by. <laughs> like, we'll pass on the handshake right here, buddy. Yeah, yeah Rob's, Rob's always great to see. Yeah. So we saw him here. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Who else did we see? Let's, I ben Greenfield. Like, yeah, Ben. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, dude, how about the road rash on his what face? Happened? He said uh, a car clipped him? He, yeah, I, was, I, I asked him if it was on, on film. And he was like, no. It was a play. I was just envisioning him because he's riding one of those lame ass fucking bikes as it is, right? That Which one was he riding? One, those, oh, it was one of those? The pellet? The, the ones the, that look like ellipticals. You know what that's I'm what he was like, riding? You have to be a super dork to actually own one of those. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and so, and ride it out. You ride it around. You know, so I, just, <laughs> so, so, I want one. Yeah, I know I insulted somebody oh that's God, listening I, right now. We just I'm signed sorry. a partnership yeah. with that company. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. I know I'm insulting somebody, but listen, yeah. it's kind of dorky. Okay. <laughs> if you if you want to ride an elliptical, go to the gym. Ride an elliptical. If you want to ride a bike, ride a fucking bike. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm so not going to disagree with you. Have a flag in the back. <laughs> yes, it's, just, it's just too bulky. You know what I'm saying? It takes yeah. up half the sidewalk, and it, hence why he got clipped by so a he car. Got, he got hit by a car. Yes, a car drove by, and the mirror clipped him, and he fucking hit, oh. went down hard. Dude. Oh. Went down real hard. Yeah, he just half his face. Yeah. And then he went to a hyper. He went to a it was, Yeah, and then he went to a, a hyperbaric chamber. He said to heal yeah. him faster. I thought a cooler story would have been. You know, it was a I was trying to help him out. Accident. Yeah, we were, we were all trying to help him out. Like, I, yeah, Justin's like, looks like you got to, you lost at a jousting match. <laughs> <laughs> but like, then he yeah, went to medieval kind of times. I. Like, look at it where he got injured. It was like right. You can imagine that. <laughs> like right there. Who said the most you know off the wall thing to somebody today? Who, who was off the chain? Oh, you, you said a few yourself, there, buddy. Really? Yeah, I I, you you're did. always the king of those. Dude, you I don't know. I mean, the hack is up today. <laughs> what about what, what about with the electric pads? And I asked him if it cures uh, treatment resistant erectile dysfunction. Oh, you would you say <laughs> yeah. because Adam has it? Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> like that I, was a good one. That was funny. Who else did we run into? That was that was neat out there. I mean, the event was really cool. It was better than what I expected. I mean, we would have probably not come back the second day had we not thought that. Uh, the you know, but it's it is. It's just as pretentious as the fucking bodybuilding. Side. Yeah, you still. Get I mean, that how side. many? Okay, well, here we go. What are some of the things that we saw as far as bullshit? What are the most bullshit things that we saw? Well, there was somebody a, was measuring my fucking EMF. I your electric was, something yeah, that you were giving off. Yeah, yeah. Like, apparently like, I was bad. You know, like you just they scan your forearm or whatever. Like what was that? That was just EMF. Like what? what like I was radiation or something? Yeah. Like, I don't know about you, but in the comic books, that means you're fucking awesome. Exactly. I, mean, I was <laughs> shooting. Hours. You were shooting off some shit off your skin. So <laughs> wait till you see my spider webs. That was. That's awesome. Gross. He's, on, that was, oh, he's uh, funny on accident. Yes, I wasn't even yeah. trying for that yeah. one. That that was bullshit. There was a lot of. There's always a lot of meat at these things, right? Let there's a, let a, a lot. Of, I'm, I'm a plethora of meat. Yeah. Powdered bone broths. That yeah. was a, that was a big thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think what else was kind of. There was some supplements out there. A lot of supplements. I can't. Th- I can't think of anything else that was more bullshit than that. 
How yep. was that? How was that sauna mm. that you guys zipped into? Is that legit? Is that, I don't well, know. Well, so that was what blew my mind, which I wanted to go back and fact checked him uh, with our sunlight people because I don't know the sunlight ones just seem a little more legit to me. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, like, he had, research he had like patents. Yeah, well, and he's he he making claims. This weird feeling, yeah, it looks like, like some tin foil. <laughs> we zipped up in some tin foil, and there's like a fucking. You know what it was? Uh, it's, it's like, like an elementary mitt. school chair in there. They were yeah. saying it was like this doesn't look fucking like flexible oven mitt. Right, he just made. I'm pretty sure you could run down to Home Depot and build that for like twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, know you know what it looked like? like? Sure, it'll get hot in there. You know what yeah. it looked like? Did you guys ever do the Jiffy Pop? Did you guys ever do Jiffy Pop yes, when you were a kid? The popcorn that you put oh, over, yeah, yeah, yeah. over the stove and it makes the big foil thing. That's what yeah. it looked like. That's what it looked like. Yeah. So he was claiming that that was four times the far far infrared uh, uh, rays than any other product on the line. And I, and I asked him, I said, we have sunlight and saunas. And what they told me, it's the best. So now I feel like somebody's duping me <laughs> yeah. right now. So I'm, so I'm on a mission Somebody to get his dishonest. Yeah, I'm, yeah, exactly what I was saying. I'm like, I'm getting to the bottom of this right now. I don't know, dude. I feel like yours looks like it could be a little bit cheaper and may not be as good as those over there. I'm yeah. just saying. I mean, I well, that's all only far infrared, too. Right, we have so all three. So we have all three, yeah. Mm. Mid-far mm. and near. Boom. Right? Mm. Boom. 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 Yeah. Just dropped it yeah. on like that. Yeah. Mic drop. Anyway. Shoes were bad. I thought those, those were bad. Were terrible. Those were terrible. Oh, well, I, I, I still don't understand the point of them. I to, be, to be more barefoot. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, but that, I think I'd rather. They already barefoot. have brands don't. that are five-finger shoes. Yeah, but these look like they're dress shoes. Yeah, they look like dress shoes. shoes. I wouldn't wear. Okay, so I okay, no, no, I get I it now. So out the bottom. Their, then their their market is businessmen that have to wear suits every day that are actually paleo s type people. Maybe. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. they still want to ground. It's a very niche market. It is a very niche yeah. market, yeah. but it's there. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely there. I think there's, this, a, there's a I lot think of the, I think the soilet guys. people are winning that winning that battle. A little bit they were more. trying hard to get us to try them on too. Oh, I know. And shoes. I had to lie to them. I was like, we'll be right back. Because I said, <laughs> everyone back. Not. Listen, this is groundbreaking. They were, yeah. they were attracted to Taylor and I. She'll be right back. Yeah. I'm like, we want you, uh, when I wear these shoes, I don't want to be shorter. How about the guy with the, the dinosaur fucking shirt? That was oh, fucking man. awesome. Oh. I wanted that, that shirt, man. That, that shirt was, that was totally my flavor. Yes, the guy was fucking. What rad. about when Justin threw the spear? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Would it bounce back? We didn't even it? get the first one. Dude. Dude, so I threw the spear. Spartan and one. It was a Spartan spear. It they bounced were, back. Yeah, they had they had hay and everything set up, and I grabbed it from this girl and threw it. And I was just thinking, I want it, I want it to stick in there really good, you know. And like <laughs> everybody's watching, so I just like threw it hard, and it it bounced, and it and it didn't register right away. Like, oh wow, is this coming back like hot? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't even move or anything. It was just like, and then. Oh my god! I almost stabbed myself in the shin. It was <laughs> yeah, really no, close, no. really close. That would have been a good video, though, Taylor. Yeah, <laughs> I tried. Then I the tried. next one, I was like, "Oh, just less power." And then, boom. and then yeah. it went. We yeah. almost, we almost got in free to the food and wine festival. <laughs> you did a good job, bro. <laughs> I, I was tried. proud of you, but I was actually, you know, what? you walked. I, them. I'm surprised. <laughs> yeah, they were able to, you know, stay away from your sales skills. Like yeah, that. I, yeah. I, I, every re- once in a while, I got to yeah. give him an opportunity, but <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't do well. I should have TO'd right there. I wonder what it would have looked like if I would have. You know that one right nothing. there. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. We would have gotten arrested. No, you, exactly. no, you, no, we almost got in. I don't know how you almost You guys would still do that while I just jumped the fence. I feel, like, I feel like if you were a bad person, you'd be a very successful con artist. Because that was very good. You, <laughs> well, were, yeah. you, you were working got everybody. He That's was working it. the those security are, guard. Those are $250 like tickets. Supervisor. <laughs> Adam convinced the head of security woman yeah. to call <laughs> us in to try and get us in through the guest entrance. Yeah. But it was this really... walkie-talkie. It was this really, it was this really old, like, patriotic dude who's like yeah. no sorry yeah. can't break the rules no matter what i'm like dang <laughs> no terrorists none of my watch <laughs> You're like, oh shit this guy means business <laughs> you know i want to go in there though i mean this is the fact that the tickets are 250 dollars i feel like fuck i man. think there's a lot of free wine that's why <laughs> is oh, that yeah. what it is I, I think you get a lot of wine tasting is it, is it like that is that what because he, he said that there or she said there was like all anything you could think of, like drink wise, like everything. There's just sh- included. Yeah. Oh, we would have got destroyed. I saw some videos of people there. There's some like they have all kinds of like weird, like models that they yeah. built where you, you pour the shot down and yeah. it like mil- drops it. Uh, the- yeah. They we some- tried. We tried to big. That cool. looked so much more fun. It like, did, it that did. entire yeah, place looked way it, more it, fun. It, I'm we sorry. Tried, we tried to act true. cool when we walked up and tried to get in with the with the girls <laughs> at the front. We're like, yeah. So we're mind pump media. They're yeah. like. 
We don't you, know who the fuck you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> go go on the like, yeah, go online. Go to this yeah, email. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was hella mad. I was account. hella mad at that one. That's why I was like, like I'm not what? giving you up right now. I'm not letting that be that like hurt a little bit. It did hurt. It hurt yeah. a little bit. I was like, that's it. I'm not even gonna get it. Like, oh, we just came from Paleo. And yeah, yeah, dude. Literally I literally no love. I was at really all. mad about that one. So we like, have a camera. We're in media. <laughs> like everybody has a camera. Like, yeah, send us an email. Fuck off. Anyway, good time. You know what? I I actually would would have liked, and I know we didn't have the time and stuff, but I would have actually like to listen to some of the panels they had because what I noticed they did this year and I don't know mm-hmm. if they did this before I know for sure they did this year but they actually had people that would not agree on stage together uh, yeah together so I thought that would be kind of cool because a lot of times when you see these panels it's like fucking five people that are all preaching the same message yeah. and they're just mm-hmm. all nodding their head up there like yes yeah. yes more sandals yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes blue blockers yes. yes more blue blockers yes. you know what I'm saying it's like meat it's like yes. all this head nodding meat. saying this <laughs> yes bone yes. broth uh-huh. yeah. yes. yes it's like dude get somebody up there that's yeah. like counters so we can hear like a yeah. good conversation and debate yeah. so yeah. somebody could actually learn something and it's yeah. not this everybody's mm-hmm. preaching that this is the way of doing things so yeah. that would have been cool but there were there were some that were like that mm-hmm. I, I wish we would have caught because I know what I would have done if we had gone to one of those with the with, where we had where they had two people that were kind of differing and then they had there's a q a at the end i would have loved to have asked yes, the question to start that serving them up them, that would have pit them against Ooh. each other that's why i think maybe yeah. maybe Throw what we do because i know that we've got a lot of people are starting to ask if we would go up there and talk but we would be better is if we go we to the audience we exactly we yeah. video going the to instigators going there and asking <laughs> questions to the panel yeah start, we, start we, we panel the fuck out of the panel we, we panel the panel yeah Yes. Hey, I know you recommend a lot like of a uh, lot of vitamins, but don't you have a vitamin company? Yeah. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> a dick. <laughs> Just be an asshole. Get the fuck out. Uh-huh. uh-huh. I thought we were going to get thrown out for the wine. <laughs> that was that was close, right? Yeah, we were gonna yeah. crack over the wine and drink the wine bottles. We, no, we had to drink it on the way home. Bummer. They were worried about that. Yeah. Anyway. Was, overall, though, I think that this is uh, this was fun. My, yeah. One of my favorite times. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. This, it's it's been a really good time. Man. I really really appreciate anybody who came up to us. There's a lot of people that came up to us and said hi. And if you're listening, really appreciate that because. Dude, it reminds us of why my cup, this. man. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah we, we really appreciate you guys a lot. So, oh, yeah, Thank everybody you. left super motivated, right? Yeah. It was crazy. We were all tired from all day, being all day, but then when we, as soon as we, then we just felt this energy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was crazy. Cool. Very, crazy. very cool. It was a good time. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, check it out. Go to your app store, get the Mind Pump Media app. You can search any topic among our 750 plus episodes. It's free. Mind Pump Media app. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now, plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump.